going on, everyone? Thanks again for joining us on another special episode of the Who Do You Think You Are podcast. This is episode 166. And as always, I'd like to take this time to ask each and every one of you to please go to the YouTube, type us in the search bar, W-D-U-T-U-R, where the first ones that come up, hit the like, hit subscribe, and maybe share with a friend. Share with a friend. Yeah. Why don't you? Also, check out the social medias. You can find us at W-D-U-T-U-R pod across all platforms. That's what? W-D-U-T-U-R pod across all platforms. Hey, Nick. Howdy, Pedro. Who do you think you are? You really are so smart. <sighs> what another beautiful day joined by some beautiful people. We got a special guest on today. And even more importantly, you know, we're taping this a little early. It's a Wednesday, uh, September 15th. Yeah. It's a special day. Do you know why that is, Pedro? Why is it, dude? Well, it is Hispanical, Hispanic Heritage Month. Really? Yes. This Pedro's month? Hispanical. <laughs> so I'm very... Pr- I'm, <laughs> I'm Hispanic. It's quite You're Hispanical, dude. Lat- <laughs> Latinx, dude. All the people out there. Shout out. Shout out. Hola, dude. como estas? Todo bien. Mi amo, Nicolas. Sí, sí. Me gusta. Bien. Yeah. Todo. Yeah, how do you I, feel? How do I feel? Yeah. I, I honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't even know it was Hispanic Jesus old month. Jesus Christ. Of course you didn't. What's your name? Dude, we're <laughs> midway through the month and I'm but just finding this out. Like, when does it start? Does yeah, it you, start at the beginning of se- September or what? You're more than halfway through your life and I changed your name from Pete to Pedro. And you're like, I guess I should go by that. <laughs> you're right. You're dude. crazy. You're right. And I'm Pedro, and sometimes <laughs> my wife questions my heterosexuality. Mm. I'm producer <laughs> CJ. Follow me online at CJ Talks Funny on Instagram for brand new jokes every single weekday. And uh, we got a special guest in the studio today, Mr. Riley Mobs. Yay. Thank you guys for having me. What's, What's up, What's going on? Thanks man. for coming. Good, man. I'm getting used to this AZ heat. Hey, it's it's going to take a while, dude. I'm I packed like three you. pairs of pants. I don't think I'll wear a single fucking pair. Nah. No. Um, no so pants nation over shorts. here. <laughs> I need to ask you guys, where should I buy shorts from? Because I had some pack. A package was supposed to come. Yeah. Come. Barebottomclothing.com. So hashtag WDUTR for 20% <laughs> off. Yeah. Shameless plug. Hey, I, I swear to God, man, I'll buy some. Yeah, they're really nice. Will. They're comfortable. You have them here? I get my shorts at like, uh, Target. We, they're on me. Yeah, we don't have any. He's, oh, he's, okay. he's lying. He, oh, I'm not okay. lying. There's no plug. They're, yeah, but they're a great company. If enough people <laughs> put in that keyword, they're like, why do people keep on doing this? They might. Can at least the people on the podcast get behind me with some of my marketing ideas? <laughs> I mean, I was with you. Thank you. Know, I, I know. You. Yeah, because you, know, you, you run a business. That, this fucking delinquent <laughs> dude has been working all day like a bitch. Oh, shit. Dude, yeah. On his his, his yeah. month, dude. You worked for 12 hours. Is that what the <laughs> Was instead of fourteen hours gardening out there, yeah, like you can take two hours. Twelve off. instead. <laughs> oh man! Oh wait, since so it's a Hispanical month, yeah, I have to give a shout out to my business partner Juan Gomez. He's okay. like literally fifty oh, yeah. percent of the business. Like he, you know. So yeah, I didn't know that. Sorry, Juan. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, I'll send you a text later, buddy. You've been treating him like shit this whole month. And I, look fuck. at that, dude. I yeah. would give a shout out to the business there. How do people find you? Oh yeah, Young Creatives. Um, if you just search Young Creatives, it should pop up. If not, the at is We Are Young Creatives, uh, and then it's the brain with the plant. So Heck yeah. that's our logo. I, I love your guys' uh, I, I actually uh, messaged you that. I love the clothing, the, the line that you guys have. But the the you. images are super clean. I love Thanks, the, the looks of it. I was actually going to he you to like bring some and give you some money for it, but I'll go I'll go through online. Yeah, dude. no, I'll send I'll I send lo- I'll send her some. She can drop it off to you. Yeah, How it's dope. Yeah, I love we'll the designs are also you guys do all that in house or Yeah, yeah, we do all all hand drawn. Uh what we do is we do two sketches, so we'll do like hand drawn mm-hmm. and then we'll do uh, a digital sketch. Okay. So uh once we get like the newest iPad, we'll be able to just like, you know, just sketch right away. Yeah. yeah. But we use like Mac. So it's like, you know, kind of like, you know, got to use like the curved lines and straight lines and kind of mask it and stuff, but mm. nerdy shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we do everything in house. Yeah. Everything. That's awesome. Um, except for a couple of pieces. Like we've had a couple women want like, you know, specific, like, you know, crop tops or stuff. Like, I don't know shit about that stuff. So yeah. I had, like, like drop shipping websites for that kind of merch and stuff. Yeah. But well, if you need any crop top hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wear them regularly. The crop top model. Yeah. Guys, Pedro's got you. Guys are still kind of bringing those back. Like they're trying to. I've There's seen a lot of football players trying to do it. Yeah. Like the, the whole yeah. like 90s oh, style. Yeah. It's a uh, football style and like some kind of like these like scene music kids. And I'm, I'm too like, thick for that shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. Just like, <laughs> I'm way too thick. I, it just, like, it's not a good look. Can I, can I talk about, I'm fucking envious yeah. of like every time I go shopping like online and it's like, I cannot find my body type. Yeah. It's like, I'm not, I'm not fat, right? But I'm fucking not skinny. Yeah. I don't fucking look like this. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it's like, it'll be like a, a model wearing a small, but it'll be baggy. Yeah. Like, who the fuck is, where the fuck did they find these guys who have eight packs that are like, 
107 pounds. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't even know, like, if I'll fit any of this, but I'll just order it anyway. I end up yeah. giving it all to Juan when it doesn't fit. He's like, I'll do it a hand me down. So you've been, it's basically a Hispanic month every month. Oh, yeah. Every yeah, yeah. yeah. time I order something, Juan has like a 70% chance of it, of receiving it. I gave him some shorts yeah. last week or the week before. So I, I kind of do the same thing. I feel yeah, like they, I'm, I'm always giving to you. And they, well, only one. But I don't want it anymore. Only one pair. <laughs> only one pair of shorts. I'm all right. Thank okay, you. Okay. Yeah. You're right there. I'll, I'll trade you. Oh, little tradesies. Damn, dude. <laughs> I haven't had a blunt in a while. How's I don't me Same. either. How's the Arizona weed? <coughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's better than Iowa. Yeah, <laughs> Iowa's gotta have shitty surprise. weed, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <coughs> we don't really have our own like <coughs> grow houses and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. more so just like <coughs> Chicago <laughs> yeah. people taking stuff from Chicago and stuff. So I guess since they have dispensaries in Chicago, we pretty much have the exact same weed as like Chicago. Sure has yeah. good weed. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I mean it's it's I'd say like LA. Probably like California first, Denver. I was in Denver recently, and oh, I'll tell a story about me taking weeds. ten edibles before my flight. That oh was, shit! Let's hear it. Okay, yeah. So I was in Denver layover. I have a friend uh, who lives there, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, man, I'll just take you to the dispensers real quick. We'll just get a bite to eat. You know, be back on your flight." I'm like, "All right, cool." We go to the dispensary. The guy told me they were five milligrams each one. It was fucking fifteen milligrams <laughs> oh, each God one. Damn. So before my flight, and you took ten. Bro, I took the whole. F it was probably more than ten. I'm just hey, like just saying ten, packet. so I don't seem like a. <laughs> Are you big into edibles though? Like not at all. No, and that's what was so crazy. That's... Like, cause I couldn't smoke before the flight. Cause I'm big paranoid on like smelling like weed. Mm. So like, cause it has a stigma. You know, I am a business owner. I'm a respectable man, so I don't like to be dismissed yeah. right away because I smell like weed. I just pop you ten edib ten edibles. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Possibly. You'll be OD good for a conversation. Take yeah. care of business. <laughs> but, but I but I but I was thinking, this is how fuck I come from a broke background, you know. So I was like, I don't waste shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, okay you know what I'm saying I'm like bro I just bought these fucking edibles like Juan didn't want anymore I was yeah. like he don't Two want didn't like, want waste like, not fuck. want not <laughs> right wow yeah, I had a fucking hash. borderline I've never had a panic attack I've never had like a depressing uh -huh. depressing like time period I've never I've been a happy individual almost ah, my whole life you lucky know. son of a bitch yeah I'm not gonna lie like, <laughs> sorry for everyone who hasn't been like I just it's constant misery for me <laughs> <laughs> I had a panic attack today. <laughs> I'm one, sorry, man. One? I had three, dude. All right, beat that. Top it, dude. Fuck. During Hispanic month? I know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Something's wrong. But I was but I was sitting in the middle seat. Juan was on the right. He was asleep. I envy him because he can just sleep on any flight. He never... Hispanics, dude. I right? swear. <laughs> I can always sleep in. Dude, working 14 hours, you got to sleep <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> he does work very hard. He does work very hard. Yeah. Um, but then there, there was this um, older lady next to me. And I always get like kind of... Chatty? Like, no, I don't. They okay, always okay. do. Because I look like an approachable black person. Mm. <laughs> and and that's you, the issue, right? Because if I look ones? like a scary black person, like, you know, because like some of us can just turn it on, right? Even like scary white people too, man. Like yeah. there's some guys, I'm like, I'm not talking to that fucking guy. Like, yeah. Yeah. But like, I look very approachable. <laughs> It like so, I'll just be sitting there, and she'll be like, "So, where are you going? We're going to the oh, same God. fucking place." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yes. you know. So I was place. also thinking about like, what if I'm on a plane with someone like that? So let me take the edibles, right? And sure, sure enough, here she is. She's sleeping. I'm sleeping, and I did that thing where you like jerk awake. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> scared the shit out of her, bro. <laughs> like it scared the living shit out of her. I was just like, oh my god, no! I was like, I got to get out of this. First time I ever went to a. Uh, the bathroom on the plane because I'm just like why like I'll wait <laughs> like yeah so that's I went always to the trippy to me <laughs> oh my god I yeah. do it every time because I'm like what if it goes down then I'd be weird you know yeah just like fuck it and I just like put my hands on the sink and like looked in the mirror and I was just like oh my god and like literally the turbulence light went on like so I sat on the toilet didn't I didn't know that like if that happened you're supposed to go back to your seat hurry put your seatbelt on I was just like oh, yeah. I'm already here. So I just sat down. Just like, and, 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 and they probably thought I was taking the massive shit. Like, yeah. like you know, I was in there for like 25 minutes. I, like, I don't think anyone's ever been in this bathroom. Yeah. So. And she knocked and she was like, sir. And I was like, can I come out now? And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. I was so you just hot. Peek out. So hot. Yeah. Yeah. I was sweating. Like, I was Damn. like, it's, you know how cold it is on planes. And I was sweating. Yeah, it is like, cold on planes. Like, no. That's, was, a, that's a massive panic attack. Yeah, bro. It was bad. I was like, so now I, I did buy some edibles. When I when I got here, but it was more so so I had like something if I, when I couldn't smoke, you know, yeah, I yeah, smell yeah. like weed or something. Yeah, but never ten again, no. dude. I like edibles, but it's I mean I can only I'm a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like I can only do about a five milligram. If it's a ten milligram gummy, I'll take I'll take half a bite yeah. and then just wow. put save the rest, just because I. Yeah. <laughs> I'm prone to panic, attack, panic attacks alone. It's That's just wild. if I if I. It's uh, crazy. My mom has bigger balls than you. <laughs> you Shout out my mom. Yeah, I've yeah. seen them. Dude. They're, they're nice. Yeah. Quién crees que eres? So has bigger balls than your dad. Maybe true. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to find out. We'll get back to. You. <laughs>
Anyways, uh, young, young, <laughs> so what, what I guess like marketing, what is like, what are you guys most known for? Like, how'd you start Definitely making money music and videos? Okay. Yeah, so music that, videos for sure. Cause that's like what we do the most. Um, so it's a combination of like, we do everything cause at heart, me and him are filmmakers. So our biggest passion, mm. like if we could do one thing and get paid only to do this at the mm -hmm. biggest scale, it would be to make movies, to make cinema. Okay. Um, but obviously that's a very expensive yeah. hobby, yeah. right? So to our idea for the business was to fund our hobby, which one turn into a profession let's do the things that we can you know pump out at a quicker rate you can't just make films for people all the time <laughs> gotcha. like martin scorsese said like you can make almost 30 films in your life that's that's pretty much all you can make because you can only make one film like every two years you yeah, know usually like, like, yeah, like, yeah. A, like a good yeah, cinematic like blockbuster film like so you know you live to your you know let's not talk about mortality rates that's depressing but like you know <laughs> 30 40 movies like even the directors that have started since 16 they only have like 50 movies if you think about like how many songs could i make I can make right. 50 songs in a month, yeah. you know, like, so it's a very delicate art. It's a very, you know, tactful art. So to, to fund that, we wanted to do like music videos. We mm -hmm. do everything from like graphic art. Like, um, we do shows. We're actually promoting a Halloween, uh, party this, uh, this year. And then, you know, it's, it's pretty much anything, man. Like anything that you guys see on like televisions or like, you know, music videos, commercials. Uh, we even did a jewelry commercial, which was like a place that like, I never could buy anything from as like a kid. And I was yeah. like, and I fucking did a commercial for him. I was like, fuck yeah. Like it was like a ride <laughs> That's of passage. Cool. You know awesome. what I'm saying? Dope, like, dude, yeah. Yeah. When when do you think you you wanted to start doing that? Was it like from a young age or were you always like a movie buff or in hindsight, yes. Yeah. Like it was. But like at the time, no. I thought I was like just a weirdo for like setting up my action figures and using my mom's camera to like film me <laughs> fight. Uh -huh, I yeah, thought that yeah. I thought every kid was doing it. I thought we were all like making stop motion. Yeah, animation yeah. like shit because of uh, action league now, right? Yeah, that mm -hmm. and like shit like Chicken Run, like that Chicken Run, run. Oh, yeah. like, all the claymation. Oh, yeah. I was a huge Gumby fan. Claymation, yeah, oh, yeah. claymations, Miles. and like yeah. stop motion, all that shit. Like that's so amazing. hard too, dude. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it takes it's, forever. It takes yeah. forever. Patience. Yeah, and patience. I was like, how the fuck was I exercising so much patience at like as like seven year old? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Like, You've always I, yeah. been happy, man. But like, in hindsight, but like, I re really, it wasn't that though because in Iowa, like the culture of like what I do is like not common it's not common to make music videos and be successful. Like mm -hmm. most people that are doing this are usually probably also like living in their mom's basement. Like it's a hobby. It's right. like something. So we rose really fast because there's not really a lot of competition as far as what we do. Got you. do so do people usually head over to like Chicago to do that or do they usually head? Just yeah. Like believe it or not, we have people from Chicago that come to us. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we've actually had people from Miami hit us up. Like we've traveled now. Huh. Like, and it's like, wow, that's crazy. Cause at first it was just like, Oh, we're good for here. Like we're, we're killing. Cause you know, you're humble. You, you, self-doubt right. and shit so we're just like yeah we're good for like iowa mm -hmm. videographers but then yeah. like chicago artists are hitting us up like man i'm like bro hold wait on. there's something here like, yeah like bro i think we're dope yeah, <laughs> like, that's sick. you know and that was like the first year of the business but when we started it was just when i was uh just pr promoting my music and doing shows locally juan went to uh college in that same city cedar rapids and he was from chicago so we met he shot like a couple of my videos and stuff and it was never no business it was just like homies and we did that. And then eventually we were just like, bro, you're about to graduate. What are you about to do? He was like, about to work as a news cameraman or something. <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro, you just wrote a fucking s s vampire film. Yeah. Like, nice. I just saw you spend three months writing this script and you're telling me you're about to, what? No. <laughs> I literally that day got our first client as a business. Like, literally. That's like, awesome. Like, Message like fucking 400 people. Like, yo, you need us. You need Fuck this yeah, service. Dude. Like, I had no so fucking portfolio, no nothing. So you're just hungry out just to get whatever, oh, whatever works. Just, man. yeah, that's. Call it thirst. Call it whatever. Where do you man. find call them? success. Like, where do you find these people to, like, do, where do you reach yeah. out to them? Like, these different artists or people just so Instagram early or on, going through. Early on, the big advantage was, like, me being from Cedar Rapids. So, mm -hmm. like, I was, I lived there. I'm 26. So, I was there my entire life. Mm -hmm. So, as soon as I wanted to do this, I already knew artists i knew already knew promoters already knew people who own businesses restaurants and stuff so i just started all the stuff that we had done as just individuals we made it seem like it was the business's portfolio mm, okay like all like my album covers and all his like independent yeah, short films, short and, films stuff. and stuff yeah. we Gosh, like just yeah. would like no slap young creatives on the title go back and like <laughs> you know even everything that wasn't able to be like that because you can't change youtube titles without like starting over on views yeah. and stuff sometimes so we were just like nah just then fucking blacklist it bro like it's over with like we had to literally drop everything that we had built because it wasn't technically our brand and we were better. So, gotcha. and that's kind of why I put my music on the back burner too. Cause that four years we grew the business. I was just like, I'm getting better. I'm writing better songs every week. Why, why stress it and put it out? You know, that's awesome. Yeah. Did you go to school for it? No, I didn't actually. I, um, f and back to the Iowa thing, like the reason why a lot of people don't do it is because it's not seen as a logical thing to pursue. Right. It's just, yeah. we don't have any studios. We have no agencies. We have no films ever being made here that are like past a budget, like 50 K like it's not, 
a cohesive thing to like try to think about doing that. So everyone was like using sports as a way to get out. Or, like I think it's like something like eighty percent of all high school kids in Iowa are rolled in sports. Yeah, like oh. which is huge because it's like that's the way out. Yeah, like um, scholarships. Like I was on a full ride scholarship with football, and then realized halfway through I didn't want to play football no more. So lost the scholarship, couldn't go to school, wasn't gonna put my mom in debt. Like from I'm where? Not, where were you? So I went to NIU my first year, and then I went to uh, St. Ambrose in Davenport. And that's in Iowa because NIU was in Illinois. I was not trying to be that far away from home. I was like, ugh. So I started making music in my dorm room. And then uh, that kind of transitioned to me being like, fuck it. Like, I'm young now. Like, let me just do it now. And this not what, yeah. my life after it, yeah. in four years, you know? I don't yeah. want to play football then. Yeah. And it was, like, it was weird playing football with like high schoolers that you grew up with. Well, you know their that? moms. You know, like, you've been yeah, in their yeah, house. Yeah. And now you're playing pretty with pretty much like, varsity just yeah, in yeah. college. But then you're like a freshman. It's like, the senior who's like here from like UConn doesn't give a fuck about you. He's just right. like, yeah. like, I will never eat a meal sitting next to you. Like I'm the varsity, whatever. <laughs> like I'm just like, yeah. what the fuck? It's yeah. like such a weird culture. It's like all politics in college. Like, Is that what made so you decide weird. you didn't want to be in it? Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. Cause I actually, um, <laughs> fucking, I never told this story before, but I actually got rhabdomyosis. Which is a crazy, it sounds fucking like robotic, Is that right? the new like strain? It sounds like some shit Damn. Elon Musk made in a lab. Like fucking <laughs> yeah. No, but it's, it's, pretty much, it's pretty much where you like your muscles break down and um, some foreign substance that could be considered a poison like alcohol or, you know, anything like that uh, gets into your muscles. So I was working mm. out. It was like that first year of like training camp. Mm. I was like a freshman. I was like, I'm going to earn a fucking starting spot. I'm not going to be red shirt. Fuck that shit. I'm going crazy. Yeah. At the same time, they're like, freshman drink. <laughs> so I was like, uh, Damn. so I was like, <laughs> and then. You know, after a week of that, I remember like Saturday was like we got back from the bar and I was like with my roommate, I was like, bro, my muscles really hurt. <laughs> he was like, you're just sorry, bro. Got you, man. Let me size you up. And I was like, nah, bro, it's worse. That's a good bro. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I called a fucking ambulance, dude. Oh, shit. I thought that shit was free. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that shit was free. <laughs> <laughs> I, that shit was free. Yeah, I was like, you just call it. Yeah, just call it. Yeah, yeah, I could have yeah. Ubered for like nine dollars. but I was like, <laughs> yeah. ambulance. It's like five hundred dollar fucking ride. Like it's a, two it's blocks a, it's away. It's a dope ride though. <laughs> it was right? a dope ride. That's a good ride. Yeah, it's a yeah, good whip. Yeah. yeah, but it was painful, man. So pretty much the doctor, because I was I was underage drinking, bro. I was only twenty. Yeah, you know, and I had or no, I was nineteen actually, and I had these wristbands on from like the bar the night before. I had like fucking seven wristbands on. <laughs> Damn. And he's just yeah. like had an African doctor. He's like, Robert, what are you doing? <laughs> Why do you have so many wristbands on your wrist? You're underage. <laughs> you have alcohol in your bones. You have alcohol in your muscles. <laughs> and I literally was in the hospital for like four days, bro. Just literally like draining alcohol from me. They said really? it's like, I was like drunk like for four days. Is that yeah, something that they like that. treat or like, well, obviously they treat yeah. it, but is like, is it continuous throughout your life? No, no, it was, I'm done. Like it's okay. no, nothing else from that, but it's, mm. it's literally like it fucking learning lesson. Like yeah, for <laughs> every sure. time I drink alcohol, I'm like, was I working out too? <laughs> like, fuck, like, really though because it was really bad because it was it was it's a rare thing because the combination of how intense you have to be working out with how intense you're drinking like it was mm. like it wouldn't be usually it happens to athletes like this it, um it happened like in 2009 the whole iowa football team roster like the starting roster like, like 19 of them got wrapped they were all drunk oh, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that was also the year that iowa was voted like there's nothing to do in yeah. iowa dude you're gonna get drunk Bro, on the I'm weekend telling you, i don't know how the break. fuck we play any sports yeah. like i don't i have no idea i didn't yeah. start smoking until after high school but i was literally riding around my mom's whip my fucking 13 year old 14 year old friend <laughs> smoking weed i'm just like yeah. what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. it's like what is going on i didn't smoke weed early in my life either it always it's weird to me to think of like when i was younger if i did smoke weed like when some of these like were you like 13 or something i mm-hmm. tried it when i was 13 like, that's crazy to me too like and then i didn't <laughs> start smoking until i was like 17 again yeah do you ever think back to the all the times you saw it but didn't know what it was and now you like <laughs> like oh fuck. <laughs> yeah when i worked at a papa john's like it, they smoked in the walk-in mm-hmm. and i went in there like this smells so weird and then i remember the managers joking around about it and like went so far over my head i was really? so naive yeah that's wild. Naive. I don't think I was that like ever that naive because I'd had like uncles that smoked and I've they been around it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I always smelled it coming from my parents' room and I would see it laying around sometimes and shit. So I like remembered it from when I was a really little kid. Yeah. Yeah. When I like and I don't know seven I months old. When I was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I was, my parents just smoking weed and having sex in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm trying to give me a brother. <laughs> They're all shut up. Dude. We're trying to, yeah. We're trying we're to gonna kill our bus, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Could be in a fucking arc, dude. <laughs> So I'm knocking on the door. Get a life. It's an episode of Family Guy where he's holding a newborn and he like puts a dent in the baby's head to ash them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so gnarly, dude. That's Damn. Oh, They're still pushing it, huh? That's great. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, it's still on, isn't it? Family yeah, Guy? Family yeah. Guy, bro, it's still ticking. Man. That's insane. That's crazy. I'm watching Good it for so them. Long. Good for people to just stick yeah. with something. I honestly keep it, thought keep that show going. was going to be canceled. 
Like, yeah. like once I just like like a couple years ago when the cancel culture was so so big, I was like, oh, they're definitely coming for Family Guy. Like, what do, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. But they I mean, didn't come for South Park either, though. Like, right? They get away with that. Like, because just it's that I think it's the loyalty thing, animation. It's, you can get away with it if it's a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. But, but that but kind of it kind of proves a double standard, right? Because mm-hmm. we make exceptions for it. like someone could do something heinous. But if we love them universally, yeah. we'll forgive them. It's been proven, mm-hmm. right? So, right. like, not saying you would or I would or, you know, but, like, at, as a whole. So, you think about, like, you know, people that have done, like, heinous things like R. Kelly, mm-hmm. for example. Yeah, like, there's people done that some still, bad things. Bro, his streams Fix went the, up. The border. Border. Couple. Couple. His streams went up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Who, yeah. like who, who was like, oh. Well, the fucking asshole. Because any, it's that whole any, <laughs> yeah. uh, what is it? it? Any like, news is good, or um, any uh, uh, press is good press. Yeah. yeah, but it's the same thing. Any attention is good attention, and the you know, and yeah. the like. Because I think well, South Park has been pushing the boundaries for like. Oh, ever. Forever. But also, but, R. Kelly has fucking great songs. So, I mean, they just hear the songs. Like, <laughs> what, what does He's he sing again? And they listen to it. They're like, ah. You do have to be kind of just fucked yeah. up to, to create. Pee in a girl's great, mouth. <laughs> to create, you have to pee in a girl's mouth to create great art. Dude. Yeah. That's where it comes <laughs> from. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. It's, <laughs> hard, <laughs> it's hard to say. But it's it, allegedly. Why, yeah. This just came out yesterday, and it's a good little segue. Is um, Big Mouth. Do you, are, do you, are you familiar with the cartoon Big Mouth? Yeah. Netflix? Is that the Pete Davidson show? Um, I don't know. It's uh, John mm. Mulaney. It's a cartoon. It's, it's on Netflix, right? Yeah, yeah. I've Nick, seen it. Nicole. And there's like a there's it's like about a puberty. There's whatever. like a puberty monster for the yes. girls yeah. and one for the guys. Yeah. I've definitely seen it. John Least Mulaney and Nick Kroll. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, there's like a, a parent group that just came out and basically is demanding that uh, Netflix be investigated mm. because they're saying that Whoa. Big Mouth is child pornography or child sexual abuse. See, yeah. like, mm. go investigate cuties, okay? Get the fuck That's out part of here. Yeah, they're that saying, movie was like really wild. They're saying, yeah, taken as a whole, great. the fact that Netflix has. Great filmmaking. <laughs> As, uh, <laughs> I watched it four times. I'm a di- <laughs> bro, bro, as a director, I cringed when I watched that. Yeah, I, I was like, I would feel so. I, I felt uncomfortable when we've had like of age people like having to kiss and they're playing a couple. I'm like, because are yeah. you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Like, I'm so like, because that's like a big thing now. Mm, I don't want to have yeah. anyone say that they made me, or you know, so Especially like when I watch Cuties, I'm like, bro, I was, du- you were <laughs> directing kids twerking. Yeah. Like, how did that even, like, what was that down set? Like, I would yeah. not want to be there. That's I, nasty. I know. Yeah, like, I understand right. the point Move they were the trying to understand point. the message, but it's, you, yeah, you don't it's, keep the viewer in that place too, for that long. You went too you far. Do that. Yeah, that that's what. Far. That's exactly what invalidated their whole argument about like yeah, it's a movie about what, trying not to sexualize. Like no, you sexualize you just, children. <laughs> you just sold it in a different way to the same people that are going to watch like, and let's fantasize. Show how bad yeah. drug dealing is. Yeah, we should play the best drug dealers yeah. ever. <laughs> right. Like what? Yeah, and they any sense. So this parenting group basically took the fact that they have cuties. Big Mouth and a couple of other uh, a couple of other shows oh. and they're saying like taking they're as a aiding whole, in like mm. the, yeah. this is basically a, you know a child sexual abuse material production company you know Netflix wow so that's when like a bold point claim. four percent of their content probably fits that like <laughs> it's literally crazy, four man. shows that they're talking about okay so like but, here's the thing right so you know so if theaters are already dying we see it happen mm-hmm. Warner Brothers signed a deal with HBO. All Warner Brothers movies, they get released in the theater, but they also go straight to HBO Max. Mm. So why am I going to go to the theater? It's right? awesome. You right. go for the experience, yeah. of course. Like, I'll still go to the movies to watch, like, something like Avengers or, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. something that's, like, suit. I want a the sound. Movie, and, yeah. Like, a big blockbuster. I'll still go to the theater. Tarantino but, like, or something. Like, I think it's, like, 70% of, like, all indie films are being put on Netflix, Amazon Prime. Hulu. Mm-hmm. It's like, and now you're coming for the only place left for people like me to pitch movies to. Yep. What kind of films what, do you enjoy? You know what I'm saying? Bro, I can find any film enjoyable. My favorite film that I've seen in probably the last decade is Parasite. And oh, that's one, such a yeah. good movie. You've dude. seen it, right? Oh, it's amazing. Such I think a it's, good movie. There's like, a, there's like 11 frames in that movie and like yeah. multiple directors have said it's the most, it's the most beautiful 11, perfect 11 frames in film, mm. period. Mm. And, it's the, and it's the scene where like they're setting up the, um, the plot of like framing the housekeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he takes the like ketchup and makes it seem like she has bronchitis because she coughed blood in the chest. Right. Yeah. Like that 11 frames, like it sets up the whole plot that like story is so wild. Yeah. and so they won film of the year bro yeah. yeah not best foreign film best film yeah that was huge man because cool? i'm an anime nerd too so i love to see the asian yeah. fighting, bro that was, i'm fucking i'm team asian bro like yeah. if i wasn't black i'd be asian bro <laughs> <laughs> like i'll deal that with a small dick a i can thing, deal with though, the small it? dick that i don't re- care <laughs> <laughs> give me bro if i could make anime for a living yeah. oh fuck yeah let's yeah. go right you gotta kick i can i can i can i can but i gotta get some asians on my team no like no dead ass i want to like i'm like in iowa bro we have like no asians dude you got one now you need 
I'm that's what's, yeah. No, that ass. Like, yeah. all fucking colors of the rainbow, bro. Young creatives and just have You're all. You're on a gay podcast right now. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you have a, another special guest? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like that's a big thing in the black community right now. There's a lot of black people that are into anime. Is there one? Oh, yeah. How does that. It's always been like about? that. Denzel Curry, always, dude. Yeah. Always. Because always I, think, I think what it is is like. My generation is specific because I'm 26, so like I remember the first like Boondocks episode. I remember the first Toonami, mm. Dragon Ball Z. Like, yeah. it's I think it's because black people didn't have a lot of things to es- escape into. Um, early on in like media, if you took look at like the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, a lot of the black people that were represented in films were either drug dealers, pimps, yeah, or roots, super aggressive um, roots, right? So things that brought Just us either back to a bad part of our history or the worst part of our future. Mm. So it was like we escaped into things like boondocks. We escaped into things like Dragon Ball because like yeah. there are characters like Piccolo, well, he's not white or black. Right. So he could be black. And I identify with that because there wasn't black people. Like Michael Jordan mm. was like the only, that's why people look up to sports because sports is the only thing early on that pop culture was like, okay, we'll allow them to do this. Yeah. Hip hop just became the number one genre like 10 years ago. But if, mm. it, if it was able to be played nationally, it would have been the best genre in the 80s, bro. Right. It would have beat out rock in the 80s easily. But mm. people were, People like fucking Tupac were still having to play basement parties and shit. Mm. Right. Like, you know, like they weren't able to actually, like, that's why NWA and shit was so revolutionary. Big like, stage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Like, so to me, like, the reason why anime is so, like, hits with the black community is because, like, it's it's different stuff. It's not white people. It's not Mexicans. It's like, even the characters don't look Asian mm. sometimes. You know, they look like, right. they just don't look like that. Like, no one looks like that. Yeah. Like, no. no one looks like fucking Piccolo. Like, you know, or Frieza. So it's yeah. like, those types of like things. It's not, like, it's not anybody, so it could be ours too. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. So that was one thing for sure. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same like shows like Martin and Fresh Prince and stuff. Like right. these first sitcoms to really like right. push the black narrative in a good way. Yeah, Fresh Prince. Show like, I mean, are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah, because I believe in stereotypes. I'm not going to lie. I believe stereotypes exist for racists. I believe that. Yeah. Like, but, I, but, but it's like when you showcase the good of them, like in the, in the good ways, you know, like mm-hmm. the yeah. word stereotype is stigmatized. It's like, no, like, bro, black people like chicken. I'm like, like yeah. we want yeah. to fucking lie? Who does not like <laughs> right. chicken? Like, come on, bro. Literally. Like, you know what I'm saying? We invented cookouts, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, like humor kind like, of in a way that shows, like, yeah. that, I think that's a way that like, we kind of like, get, everybody kind of comes together. It's like, we, we're all just laughing. And you don't to, laugh at something unless it's true. Yeah. And, and just, you don't reserve like, your laughter from somebody unless you look down, unless you literally think they're not able to handle it or something. Yeah. It's like, like, oh, I'm so not going to laugh because you, I'll victimize you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, nah. You can't make fun of handicapped people. That whole thing. It's like well, if you're saying you can't laugh, you can't make fun of somebody for that same principle. You're acknowledging they're lesser than. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's not okay. It's diminutive. I right. like, there's a couple comedians that are disabled and they come on stage and just yeah. right away like, yeah, mm-hmm. I know you fucking see my hand. Yeah. I know you fucking yeah. see it. Like, and I love those types of people. Yeah, it's, it's like, be open well, about self-aware. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get over it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Self-awareness. And it's built and in tension that you can break. Yeah. It's yeah. such a great comedic device. To oh, I think comedy is right. like, we got to save. Like, I'm so glad people like Dave Chappelle exist and oh. like, people that are like, still like, I don't get, I can say whatever. Yeah, and they you know. do. I feel like comedians right now are like the people that are speaking the truth more than even like music right now. I feel like people. Because at the end of the day, you can't stop fucking thirty people from getting in a room to hear someone with a mic. Yeah, you can't stop that. You do can you stop really concerts. Can't. You can stop mm-hmm. music streaming. You can stop art artists painting and putting things up in museums. You can't stop me from putting up a flyer that says, "Hey, come watch me talk shit." Yeah, for three hours. Right. Yeah. Four dollars at the door. How all these yeah. other people Free are full drinks. of shit and just you yeah. know what I mean. Like and I'm gonna pass the mic to this guy who also talks shit. Yeah, and exactly. he's funny. He's funnier than me. Yeah. Watch this. Boom. Yeah, and, and then, Chappelle used to do like park gigs and stuff. Oh, like yeah. if you if there's nowhere to go, I'll go stand at the park and and he, heckle people yeah. until they come over. Dude, he's he standing on a milk known for that, like pulling up and popping up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he's a legend, man. I look up to that guy for yeah. sure, for sure. Oh, Especially actually. like he's been more like politically charged a little bit, but like I think we need that though because like I feel like he's the one black voice that cannot be canceled, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like white people love him just as much as black like mexicans asian like he hits on everybody it's, it's yeah. not it doesn't one side it's never one-sided he's saying what like, we're all thinking you know like that's the thing true. he's tearing down these walls that mm. people have built up that don't really exist among common people and he's proved his integrity yeah right like you know what I'm saying kevin hart probably couldn't do say the things that he's saying mm-hmm. because yeah. in our eyes i view kevin hart as hollywood yeah kevin no matter yeah, how hollywood he i he never will view dave he walked away from that yeah we know the story we know yeah. the story he went to africa he Tried to label, to, he labeled him a rapist. They labeled him a baby eater. They labeled mm-hmm. him everything, bro. Like, came back, you know, Key and Peele kind of took his show. It's yeah. real. <laughs> yeah. Um, he literally, he dropped that special where he told Netflix, he was like, hey guys, like, if you guys fuck with me, don't stream that shit on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you guys watch that? Yeah. I stopped, bro. I was watching Dave Chappelle that whole week. Same. I was like, Chappelle's <laughs> show's on Netflix. <laughs> yep. Let's go. He got the bag. He's yeah. getting paid. Yeah, Let's yeah, go. Because the rights to that show, that's probably like the, that's a I mean, that's, that's why a bag, yeah, bro. Yeah. 
That's yeah. like our entire like mm-hmm. every. I think Chappelle is like if we have like everyone that's like in our twenties, like early thirties, like that's common humor. Yeah, absolutely, like, exactly. There's like that's like certain so, pillars of like what made all of our character, and I think Chappelle's show was like we that. were all laughing at it all, all of us. Oh, yeah. at the same time. The episode period. where he was like he didn't know he was black and he was blind. It's the, oh, yeah, it's the black, best skit black, of all time. I think I he remember. Like, Get out of here, blackie. And then he was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> "You're black." Yeah, this was funny, man. And then when he divorced, he divorces her anywhere at the end. And let's be real, he he he. Patent the the white voice. Yeah. Oh like yeah. The, that's true. Hello, Todd. Like, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like black people weren't like attempting to sound like white. Like he was like the yeah. first. I, this is the first time I remember like someone putting on like white powder with the newscaster. Yeah. Like with the newscaster. Yeah. yeah. He was so young too. Yeah. yeah man. No. Yeah. To go insane. white. He went yeah. full white face. Yeah, bro. Like I, I like, definitely like Martin and In Living Color all had their white voice, you know, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody was like like inverting blackface and doing it. Yeah, you know where mm-hmm. you're just like, oh shit, dude, and like, that's like, and that's why I think it was so. I'm so great that the FCC was like not like it was letting everything go at that yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Like they were letting Tosh Point oh, do whatever the yeah, fuck he wanted. Yeah, right, like, right. You know, crank anchors. I don't remember if you guys remember that, that show, the yeah, puppet yeah. show. Like <laughs> yeah. it was like that shit was rated R as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. what the? F-? And then you know, so like all so that, that shit was necessary. I just feel like why can't we remember? Even yeah. some like, of like we were going good then. Like nothing. Nothing that pop culture was doing then. Like, pop culture is worse now. Right, exactly. So we can 100%. easily admit that it's worse yeah. then. So Way why do we want to change the things that were already proven to be good? Yeah, because the like, truth isn't spoken in those spectrums because they're yeah. too attached to these other, like, corporate models. That's and, what it and, is. And so, like, like commercial like and things you can't... It is, and you can't say certain things. You can't yeah. push the law, or like... You yeah. know, toe the line. I'm a part of this group, so I have to be a part of their narrative. Exactly. If I step outside that narrative, I don't have the support of that group. And then I'll lose the so. money, we'll lose the gig, yeah. and then I'll, I'll have to fire these people or whatnot. Yeah. It's like they don't want to walk in the danger. So when the people are, are saying, I don't care about walking through the danger, because like, this is what people want to hear, because yeah. that's what people actually do want to yeah. hear, but it's not put up on a pedestal the same and it, way. And it's proof that there's more of us that feel that way than don't. Yeah, they want it, but they like, want to say proof, it's, it's not true. It's proof that more of us want to not cancel people than people that want to cancel yeah, people. Yeah, we just want to like, talk shit and laugh. Yeah, it's, it's like, do you the world's understand, shitty, man. It's like, do you understand if social media was a lot? Like, who's your hero? Tell me who your fucking hero is. Like, mm-hmm. and they say, oh, my hero is Prince. Oh yeah, I love Prince. But let's believe if there was social media in the sixties and seventies, oh, yeah. you're telling me there wouldn't be something about Prince <laughs> that we'd be like, what? Yeah, you're telling me we all don't have something. Yeah, that we'd be but like, but it always comes Come back, on, right? Man. That cancel yeah. culture always comes back. Like they'll dig into the records the, of the sixties and the seventies to try to. But they're projecting their before, own and after shit. People are dead too. That's nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. After people are dead, like they yeah, can't even defend themselves. Right. The, the people that are attacking always have that something inside of them that they're so embarrassed or ashamed of. It's like so a they're guilt thing. Yeah. So they have to shame other other people because they're all mirrors to themselves. They're like, "Fuck you, fuck you." <laughs> it's like, yeah. dude, you're the monster. Projecting yeah. insecurities. Yeah. That projection. Yeah. yeah. This is dangerous though. It's people true. don't look at themselves in the mirror though. They don't do that shit. It, it's a hard thing to do. It it's is. a hard thing to do to to look at yourself and say, "I'm not good enough." But to but to understand that you can be good enough and it's only by your standard don't feel like society's telling you you're not good enough you got to understand hey my eating habits are trash right yeah i'm depressed all the time but guess what i also drink eight mountain dews a day <laughs> let's start there yeah let's Seven. start at the things that we can change right now mm-hmm. and then in a couple of days we'll work on hey maybe i'm too rude to my friends sometimes yeah maybe i need to be more considerate of their time i'm always late okay I- let's work on your tardiness now like there's little things that's that one you can big thing on a better person yeah, rude, dude. You guys are both. I'm, I'm rude dude. to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true, man. What's true, Pedro? Yeah, what's true. I thought you were about that to it's say uh, Hispanic about Day. Yeah. <laughs> it's Hispanic Day, and he doesn't have to explain himself That's to a true. white man. And it starts halfway through the month, which is interesting. That's when it starts. Yeah, it literally started today. So we get so half, that's you fucked. can't give them a whole. They month. They give black people the shortest month. They give you guys half a yeah. fucking month. No, but it goes. What do the Asians August? get? They get like a fucking weekend. No, they get Chinese free egg rolls. Yeah, they have to work <laughs> through the weekend. Though. No, they've been riding the stop Asian hate wave for a while. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think we cut that off now. <laughs> no, but it goes to October fifteenth. So you guys, you guys still have the, the, the thirty days. The 30. You, oh, got, you guys can definitely edit this out if you want. <laughs> but <laughs> we don't edit it. Yeah, we can't, yeah. we right. have to stay true. Dude. Great. I don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah. I consider myself a comedian, man. Yeah. Cancel me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, got, I got Asian friends, man. They love me. All right, look. You ever go to an Asian spot? You know it's gonna be fire when they got the kids there coloring oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. coloring yeah. 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 it's like nah nah drop the kids off they working yeah. <laughs> yeah. motherfuckers yeah. running with the rice and shit I'm like oh yeah that shit about to be fire oh yeah, yeah. they got the whole family got a seven year old back there 
Making some fried rice. Ripping that shit. Oh, yeah. 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 Low main smacking. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and the grandma's like 98 years old. She's still like sauteing. So I'm like, God <laughs> yeah. damn, dude. Flipping that yeah. shit, bro. Like, yeah. She got triceps. She yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Not all she got. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Do you have yeah. a favorite cuisine? cuisine or <sighs> Bro, bacon and eggs. Mm, is that a cuisine? Really? Your breakfast. Your uh, breakfast I'm guy. I'm a breakfast guy. I'm a big breakfast guy. My, well. my second favorite is like chicken and waffles. Oh, so, so good. You like, gotta go to Lolo. Yeah, yeah I had gotta. a music video shoot. Shout out um uh Katera because she does awesome carrying. Uh and she did chicken and waffles for me for my uh behind the scenes shoot for everyone nice. and stuff. And Thank it was you. fire. I'm like oh, yeah. that's, that's like gonna be my thing. Like anywhere I go. Like yeah. if I have a rider, like my my uh yeah, 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 waffles. Yeah. I'm gonna be like chicken and chicken waffles. And waffles. Chicken that's and it. Yeah, do you gotta do yeah. Lolo's like you said? Lolo's chicken Lolo's? waffles. Is that here? Yeah, yeah. okay. Lolo's is good. Dude, I, yeah. I love chicken and waffles when you Let get like, that down. the maple syrup <laughs> and you <laughs> and you blend it with like some chipotle peppers or Ooh. something. So I love when you get that spicy that kick. kick dude. Get spicy, Lolo's. sweet, and salty from the chicken. I mean, dude, that's a trifecta of just beautiful flavor. Combination in your mouth, man. Yeah. Why don't you have to say it like that? <laughs> It'd be so uncomfortable, Pedro? dude. Be cool. Oh, uh, sorry. We got a guest. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let me sit we're, up. we're not dressed like women, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to be masculine. Hey, when I saw that, I was like, man, I I gotta come on the spot. <laughs> yeah. I was like, these guys, I we gotta thought, meet these fucking guys. We thought maybe Hold we'd on. scare you away from He it. didn't he doesn't know the context of it. Like we did it in mm. protest of He was telling me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So go on, continue. Yeah, please. So we dressed up as women. Did you wear panties too? <laughs> dude, or did you, you wear briefs? I've always want to no, buy them. I've always yeah, the hard <laughs> questions. Dude. I've always been a no panty kind of girl. So. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. gross. <laughs> panty I man, what part of the right? Right. But um, yeah, we just did it in in protest of China banning you know any type of femboys from any of their media platforms. Yeah. So I figured in a, in a. We'll you take know. their anime, but not their politics. <laughs> That's, what we're That's yeah, where we draw no, the line, no, China. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's the American way, dude. Look, that's what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> take the good and leave the bad. And when I say take the good, I mean by force. No, but it's also like <laughs> yeah. when we do dress up like that, it's funny, like having these serious conversations yeah. or something like that. And and then just looking down and realizing I'm in one of my <laughs> wife's dress. <laughs> You know, with filled a, it out nice. I, yeah. I did. I filled did. it I out will, nice. Yeah, yeah, that. Dude. that was nice. And you know, don't take yourself seriously. You yeah, know? Like, yeah. Not too seriously. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's all, it's all a fucking joke, man. Yeah. But it's like yeah. you also have to ask. You're asking that, but then people have to be confident in themselves, and that's the hardest fucking thing. Yeah. To do. Mm. I don't like you know. So it comes easier to some. Um. You know. Sometimes accomplishments equal. What's like what's the fucking saying? It's like um accomplishments equal, you know what I'm saying, confidence. Mm. So like the more accomplishments you have, yeah, the more, the more confidence, confidence you're gonna gain. Have. Yeah, confidence. Sure. That's what it is. Uh, uh competence equals accomplishments equals what's the other one? I just said it. I don't know. No, it's like Damn, know, this dude. is almost a clip like of it's, like yeah. it right? it's like high ri- reading nah, like Dr. Like, Seuss. You you sound know? like me over there, dude. <laughs> just like edit, just like edit the like crying Jordan. Yeah, he's a rapper too. Did you know did you know that? Not a rapper. Will stumbles in the studio, dude. Oh no, I can't. Hit it, little stumbles. I can't, dude. I can't. I'm not I'm tying my shoe right now. I have something poking the bottom of my foot. Rap about it. Yeah, I was gonna say you shoe, almost you uh, so nice started hip hop. You're tying your shoe at the so beginning of the music <laughs> video. We got somebody who can beatbox. Dude. Let's do this. Ah, this stumbles. This is gonna be so terrible. Ah. All right, all right. <laughs> got a rock in my shoe. Don't know what to do. I'm on this podcast with all of you. Can I pass it? No. I don't know who's gonna beatbox. <laughs> uh, you know, pass it. Beat I'm the beat though, so I can. <laughs> I mean, I can try, but that might be really f- like hard to beatbox. I can't. I can't. Like that. Now that you beatbox, I'm definitely not going to yeah, try, dude. Like, oh. I can't. I can't let my white privilege show that hard. Yeah, I just start rest drilling, in peace, dude. Marquis, yeah. yeah, he died. We talk about beatbox. We got to I got to say, you know, rest in peace, man. It's Hispanic you didn't month, know dude. That he died? <laughs> so you just checked out of people dying, month, dude? dude. Yeah, you just started today. <laughs> it didn't start. That was like two weeks ago. He died. I Norm Norm that. passed away as well. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so yeah. sad, man. Yeah, we talked man. about that yesterday. Me too. Because he was such a real. He like, was one of those dude, people you talk. We yes. were just talking about the real, exactly. unfiltered people. Like he was of that generation. He so was like, who he shit, was. Man. There's that's the thing. Like you can have faults and have your like hiccups because we're yeah. all fucked up. Yeah. But if you're just being your best genuine yeah. self and putting yourself out there, exactly. 
you're being true, man. He's like that Bill Burr type. Yeah, not like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, He's going like back, that. he internalized, yeah. and not people in our culture like going back to what you're saying. Look at, at themselves in the mirror. Think about what they're doing. Yeah. Internalize. Think about how they're making other people feel and what they're doing. Like and what, make a decision to carry themselves with the courage of their convictions. You know what I mean? Yes. Norm had that. If L- he had live because we all know he could have been bigger if he would have just like done i'm sure if he would have said they were like hey we don't want you to do this anymore or, yeah can you do this instead and he was like no it's not me because we all that know that was the nbc yeah, story yeah. they told him don't make jokes about michael jackson don't make jokes about bill clinton and he said okay and he went out oh and you're talking about the anyway. two most one like in the top 10 most influential people in american history yeah, like yeah. what i, I can't make jokes about these right. people like come on bro like god well, his free, free speech has to remain i'm even for people that are racist being able to say what they want, hmm. right? I, I, you know what? Right here on this podcast, him. will you will you will you get punched in your face? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not I'm not ever gonna call the cops or like be like, oh, right. you don't have the right to say that. No, nah. yeah, right. You have the right to say whatever because I have the right to say whatever. Yeah. Exactly. And, and for me to have it, you have to have it. And, and I want to be able to, to be point period. my children at it and say, you see that? You see that person? Don't that's, do that. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Because I can't have you faking it. Right. Because then I'm gonna be like, oh, that's a nice man right there. And then like when you're 14, my kid's 14, he's like, oh yeah, that was a um terrible person yeah. Yeah, yeah that you told me was a good person yeah that guy like, said no, all the right stuff. i like people that it's, wear who they are it's the devil tell, you know. let me know who you are yes yeah, the yeah, devil like, you know me. i don't want to f- have to find out mm-hmm. tell me who you are so i know to stay away or get closer right to help you or to not help you like i don't like people that are two-faced like it's it's a generic thing to say because everyone's like i don't like fake people it's like yeah, but they're dude. fake <laughs> but there <laughs> are dude yeah, you yeah, can yeah, miss yeah. me with that kind of shit two faces get out of here bro we don't got time for that all those faces and shit but you can tell because when when you there are people you meet where you, you they tell you one opinion and you go oh, okay I can tell by that opinion the rest of the opinions you're gonna have yeah. because that's not yeah. yours I yeah. know where you got that from mm. so I know what the rest of them are gonna be you know yeah. sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. sometimes I'll have True. that and sometimes I'll have yeah. that and I'll be like all right okay but let me go like. Ten more minutes of this conversation. Let me just, yeah. Let me just either validate just for this or like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, for entertainment, and then just like, let me I don't see think if you can put your foot in your mouth. But, nah. but you, that's how you can tell a fake person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Someone on my Facebook one time, they were like, "If you say something that I don't agree with, I'm gonna delete you." And I'm like, "Okay, well, <laughs> that sounds like an echo chamber." Of yes. People. Like that's fucking boring. Right, that's, that's a boring so ass timeline. You're gonna yeah. just scroll through. Like, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. They, people like, do. What? That's people fucking, want that. That's fucking weird, bro. That's self serving. That's all self serving. In in the world where we we have more voices than ever before yeah. to, to even think that that's a reality is ridiculous. Sucks. It's like, what are you going to do when you go to the grocery store? Yeah. Like, and someone's like, hey, you cut in line. Yeah. You can't just be like, delete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> block. Yeah, block. Yeah, block. No, nah, bitch, yeah. we got issues right now. Yeah. You're yeah. here. You're present. But you what, cut. But what, what, do, what do scissors do? Cut? cut? They cut, dude. Dude, remember that? Uh, I don't. Shit. You don't talking that about school? lesbians? No, I was in elementary school. Oh, okay. You cut somebody in line, dude. What do scissors do? Cut. Oh, yeah. That was the free pass. <laughs> you guys were bullies or oh, what? No. <laughs> so you're sharp, like you're sharp? Yeah. yeah. You missed me with that one, dude. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll save it for my elementary school gig. <laughs> I have it uh, next week. Um, our Is local a, school. That'd be a dude. hilarious skit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Is it a solo comedy burnout, for elementary school? Yeah, burnout doing <laughs> that's what you comedy for first elementary live, <laughs> Your first live podcast should be in front of ele- elementary it school. It should, man. No, I can't, I can't come oh, within shit. an elementary school. Oh, that's true. We have, yeah. to, we have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Catch me at the playground, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You just got an ankle bracelet off, dude. That's yeah, so yeah. sweet. Congratulations, Off Pedro. Provo, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just got a big... He's makeup. in recovery. We don't judge. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Dude. Y'all make fun of me. For That's where it's the shade, dude. <laughs> it's funny because a lot of people probably don't know. A lot of people are listening right now going... Wait, was he arrested? Yeah. These guys... <laughs> What is this? Yeah. What have I been listening to? Just like zoom into my face the last like 10 seconds. Like, yeah, right. He's like, <laughs> what, what yeah. should I come on to? He goes, those like, are, you guys are joking. Okay. Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey honey, because, I think we got to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we get like uh, no, it's, feedback. It's Hispanic and, month, dude. So oh. you get the pass. Oh, get the yeah. pass you can do whatever, literally. Yeah, 15 yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 30. I don't even know why you're wearing clothes. You can literally do whatever you want. <laughs> awesome. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. If you saw that body, you'd know why he's wearing clothes. <laughs> oh man damn dude what i'm sorry dude. Dude. i'm sorry that was mean cooking oh, yeah. with the gas bro what do you want me to do keep cooking <laughs> thank you Thanks for the permission. <laughs> it's funny because people give us feedback like they thought we were trump supporters for several episodes oh, yeah. and, shit, and we're just like that's so funny man we're not why yeah we had this like marketing i don't know if i should say that but yeah so they, they were like, i don't know if we should work with them or not because you know, <laughs> yeah. republicans 
And we're like, no, we're making fun of everybody. Yeah. yeah. Everybody sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Fucking everybody morons. sucks equally. They're all morons. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is going yeah. on, yeah. if you're not making fun of it, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know how you can even like sit behind a screen and like rationalize a thought. <laughs> I, mean, I just like I feel like every thought I have is a waste if I'm not putting it into like my business or like anything else. Like, yeah. That's like actually right. constructive. I'm just like, why the? I'll, I've literally been like paragraphs in mm. and been like, what am I doing? And just deleting the yeah. whole thing. Oh, yeah. I've done that shit so many times. I'm like, who is this person? That's I, should, like, I should start doing that. Too. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's how, how Nick, like, that's how hard, Nick talks to girls, dude. That's true. Yeah. Man. I should work on that. <laughs> the three bubbles just exist for like a long time. She's like, what the fuck? Did you have a stroke? Yeah. <laughs> he dropped the phone. He sure looks like he had a stroke. Dude, but I actually did have, have that problem. I, I suck at the dating apps because I'll respond to people with text blocks that are like this. Yeah. And they're just like, what what's your, what's your opening know. line? Oh, I don't know. I usually will just try and find something that they're doing and make a joke about it. Oh, so you funny guy. He goes, yeah. no, he's dude. negging him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tear him down. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, a psychopath. Like shit. That. Psychopath. Want to go out tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> That's That's dolphins, shit, dumbass. <laughs> don't wear, don't wear that stupid ass dress. <laughs> yeah, wear something else. Yeah. Like, make sure, oh, yeah, shit. make sure you got something. Hey, else. you kind of don't look fat in this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. So oh, I guess man. you're the ugly sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, a good one. I have yeah, a theory. You're talking about one. like fat. I, I have a theory. Might might get me canceled. I feel like women lie to women a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is okay. intriguing. So look, 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 look. If you say you say, <laughs> yeah. say we're all going out, right? Yeah. Say we're all On going a out date to a date or, or some shit. Yeah, we all like, yeah. Quad, <laughs> quad, yeah. quad, whatever the fuck date. Poly, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we're all quad poly. poly. We're going to Lolo's, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poly and buy Lolo's. Date. I'll no, be no, there. No, I'll be there. You ain't bumping uglies after Lolo's, dude. You're all taking a nap. Bubble guts. Yeah, yeah. Fucking run a bath. Yeah, run a bath. Watch Martin. Yeah. Oh, my God. God, um, fuck! I forgot what I was gonna say. Right so okay, yeah, yeah, what I was gonna say. Okay, we're all going out. So like, look, look, we all go, we all go out, right? And we're like, okay, you, we're all fresh. We're like, oh yeah, we look good. You step out and you're and you have a fucking terrible ass shirt on. Like your jeans are way like too fucking right tight. <laughs> like, no, you look, you look, bro, you look great. Shirt. You look great, man. You look great. Like, wait, is, I thought this was hypothetical, guys. It is hypothetical. I didn't think you were gonna rag on me today. I said jeans. You're wearing shorts. I said jeans. You know. So so you're like, hey, bro, yeah, man. And we would all be like. Dude, what the fuck do you have on? We would tell you, and you would be like, maybe hurt, maybe, depending on your personality. Mm. But then in two seconds, you're changing. Yeah. A girl would be like, oh, girl, you look so good. Uh, and I'm not taking oh. the shirt off. And it's like, they're not going to like tell them, nah, girl, you look fat. Because they, they look better than her. Else. Yeah. Because they, they look better. better. Like, That's why, dude. They're gonna, like, your stock women, just dude. raised yeah. a little bit because your friend walked out with yeah. some fugglies on, dude. That's what I'm saying. You don't I'm think yeah. dudes do that too, though? Okay, yes, but... Not the kind of dudes that I hang out with. And I don't yeah. assume you guys to be those kinds of guys because it's like at the end of the day, like, don't hang I want out with best, me. <laughs> I give I give crucial <laughs> advice. Like we just talked about how we're about growth and like development. Yeah. Like anyone who believes in that is not going to just like have their friends self destruct in front of them in some like major way. I'm not saying I'm like critiquing your outfit. Like I'm just saying like if you have something on that's like, bro, you have a lasagna stain on the back of this hoodie. Yeah. Like, what a Garfield? Did you know this? <laughs> like I'm not saying like, oh, bro, that shirt doesn't match those pants. Like nah, I'm not right. saying that. I'm just saying like clearly, like bro, don't wear that. Yeah, like, bro, you smell like. <laughs> like bro, you breast stinks. You know what I'm saying? Like bro, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll try and like jump. we we saw the solution too though. Like most guys will be like, hey bro, gum. I won't even tell your breast. I'll be like, bro, here you go, have that. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chew on yeah. that. Chew on that for like ten minutes before yeah. step in here, bro. Like you know, but girl, I feel before like women just don't. They're, they're, not, as you, they're not motivated. Women to be are as more agreeable though. Like on on as a whole, yeah. Women lean towards being more agreeable. That is a trait. That is a trait. The agreeableness trait. So that might be part of it, where it's like they're gonna be like, no, it's good. Yeah. They're more inclined to do that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because so, people yeah, are always definitely. putting them down and nagging them online. So, like, they don't want to be, like, being the trauma in their yeah, life. Yeah, you can't dude, be that. Yeah, yeah no. you don't want to be, like, projecting yeah, yeah, to, yeah. like, yeah, you piece of shit, you're so ugly. You so know? they're just going to build it up even if you actually are ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Like, uh, the dress yeah. doesn't look gr great, but it's whatever. Heck, you know, it's, yeah. it's the body you got. Shout out to yeah. women. Sometimes we have them on this podcast. We, uh, uh, men don't <laughs> we have. One off you know what, you know what sucks though? Is men don't have body <laughs> empowerment. <laughs> we don't have anything, bro. Yeah, we, we, we have no like, like it's okay for a girl to be like, I don't like guys that are less than six feet tall mm. and they got to yeah, make right. 80K and uh, they got to be ambitious and yeah. they got to do this and he has to have a big dick and he has to uh, treat his mom nice and he has to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like all this yeah. stuff. But it's like, Dude, like harder than getting into college. Like, I can't do anything. So I'm that saying shit, it's like dude. fuck. My application is like rip the shit up right now. Like yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> like you know. So it's just like damn. Like you, women tend to have a lot more qualifying factors. Mm -hmm. Men have like three. Yeah. Right. That's why I'm alone. You know what I'm dude. That's like, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. But that's the nature of the beast, though. Too is
they choose. Yeah. And we don't the, choose. Because the, the vagina active, has yeah. the power, dude. Yeah, I God say, was a woman, no? Yes I would say no. I would say women control access to sex, men control access to relationships. Damn. Interesting. In the way in which, like, and I don't that mean Donald to, Trump? I don't mean what to offend. <laughs> oh, you crazy. You crazy. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. A woman who wants a woman wants the best man. A woman wants, a woman the, wants the best man, man possible. <laughs> she wants the best man possible. Right? Yeah. You know, like at the end of the day, when she finds that guy, she withholds sex because once she gives away sex, she knows that's her leverage. Because what is what is what do most girls think guys are? They think they're just trying to hit it and then leave. A piece mm. of meat, dude. I always yeah. look at like So a once you meat. give him that, I, I understand why they feel vulnerable. I understand. It's the leverage. But then at that point, it's the man's prerogative to be like, hey, I like her. Mm. Let me make mm. her not just a whatever. Yeah. And I like, you know, like, well, we can't be like, hey, we're in a relationship now. Yeah, yeah. Well, well that's, that's, that yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, no, the, like the guy has to. It's that fog of war thing too. Like yeah. after you hit it, you're like, whoa, whoa, where, where am I? Yeah. Oh fuck, what did I do? Or mm. you come to and you're like, oh, that was like, awesome. I'll yeah, do that again. Exactly, exactly. And that's the, you know. Yeah. I don't know. That's the. But, when, but that's what I'm saying though. Like you open up your DMs, so we got like two fat chicks hitting you up and like couple, I don't a couple, DMs, couple bro. cute girls. Dude, yeah, no like DMs, if an average yeah. girl opens up her DMs, she's like 40 DMs, bro. I know. Yeah. Mm. Whole bunch of blue check motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. trying to fly like her out that. to fucking Dubai <clears throat> and play with her booty hole or some <laughs> stupid shit. Do some crazy stupid uh, shit. That's so funny that you said that, dude. Hole. I legit know a chick who like I got like Colorado money. I don't have Dubai, Dubai money yet. Yeah, I got like, but when Denver you do, money. it's gonna be good. I got like yeah. Miami. I got yeah. on a weekend money. Maybe Miami. <laughs> Miami's sinking, so it's not the greatest, the greatest investment. No, not at all, bro. Yeah. Miami even like have rent money, dude. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like money. you live in the back of a. Pet. You look like you live in the back of a pet store. Start a GoFundMe. <laughs> not yet, dude. Fuck. <laughs> We're getting there. Just slinging hamsters, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I would definitely cast you as the pet store owner, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be the best. That would be the best I'm, cast ever. I yeah. used to live behind this thing. <laughs> now I own it. You work there. The crazy for free. thing about iguanas is <laughs> that's my art. <laughs> Who yeah, the dude. fuck is this guy? Uh, you like we we make it like a prosthetic, like you lost a finger to an iguana. Oh. That's like your whole. That's you always talk about that. That's yeah. like you all, no matter what, you always bring it back to the. That's iguana. my war story. He has yeah. an iguana yeah. tattooed on his neck, just like as a reminder. <laughs> Episode People come in, they're like, "Do you sell four. iguanas here?" I'm like. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> it's a PTSD you flashback, dude. Ep- episode four, you like the iguana gets out, and then the whole episode is you just like walking around with like a fucking oh, yeah. stick. You see the slither of the tail and shit, like dude. I'm picturing this right now. This is a good I've already show. Wrote the script, dude, bro. The pilot's already you're in whitey tighties, yeah. just dancing around in the middle of the night and stuff like that, talking to the animals. But I'm just a side character Skid in Mark the show. show. If we it's see the show, show pop up in like totally a fucking different. year or two, like bro. <laughs> hundred yeah. percent. Gotta do some shit about that. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> sue, sue somebody. Their ass. Yeah. Tim Dillon's gonna write it, dude. Literally every week it's we talk about something, and then it shows up on either Tim strange. Dillon or Bad Friends, or I think Tiger was Belly was one. this week. Tiger Belly is weird. Week, yeah, I like Tiger. It's really weird. There's yeah. a stream of consciousness. I like. He's another one that I think we need to keep around too. Yeah, Bobby. 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 Oh, I'm yeah. so yeah. excited to see him in December, yeah, dude. You about to see him? Oh. Yeah, you're gonna see him too. Yeah, yeah. We're seeing. Where's he gonna be? Here. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be oh, here okay. at uh, 10 p.m. Prov, I believe. That's what's up. That's what's up. We saw a lot of good comedians this last year during the pandemic. He's one it's of the ones time. like yeah, comedians dude. speak highly of, but he doesn't have like what most people consider like, obviously like the Dave Chappelle success, the Kevin Hart success. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. someone that all those guys talk highly about. Like he always like pulls up in like the improv rooms and shit and like tears shit up. Like, he's been around a long time. I think he has the Norm like McDonald 50. problem a little bit. Yeah. He's like 50 mm. some years old. He's yeah, about to like be 50. I think. Yeah. Crazy. That's you guys want to keep passing this around? Or? Good, That's that Asian, uh, the Asian genes, man. They stay unwrinkled for longer. That's true. Damn, look at homie here. He got two joints over <laughs> here. Yeah, 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 man. I smoke, man. <laughs> I smoke. <laughs> I definitely smoke. Do you do that often, though? Like, do you, like, take everyday scenarios and just in your mind play it out as, like, Bro, a screen? I have an issue. I have an issue with um, pausing moments and being like, hey, that was a movie moment. I did it to her on our first day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be a fucking nerd. And She's like, I don't fuck know if it, I should leave. It is or, what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because but I'm I went not for stop. it. I was like, I was like, hey, this reminds me of a, a movie scene. You know, we could just. Oh, you ever like, seen the Notebook? Then, yeah, I was like, <laughs> girl, right? I'm gonna get and you I, in your yeah. Notebook. But I do that a lot. Yeah, I, everything's a movie to me. Yeah, because like, mm. one, one thing I talk about a lot too is like when you're getting someone who isn't really as confident acting, and you're like, you're a director, but you're also an acting coach. Mm. So you're trying to get someone to do something they've done a thousand times. Like, so for instance, like the scene is someone waking up for soccer practice at six a.m. So you've done that. Like I get someone who's literally a soccer player who's trying to be an actor or whatever, find someone and they're like, 
oh, I'm so nervous. How should I wake up? Should I put the blanket like this? Should I have the soccer ball right there by right. the bed? So then when yeah. I get up, I can grab. I'm like, dude, you've done this before. Right. And, How would you normally do it? Like, yeah. Just make it seem But the genuine, camera yeah. and, and, and acting isn't acting. It's like mm. this, like, oh, acting. It's like, no, it's just switching off the anxiety you get right. when the camera mm. comes on. As mm. soon as you switch that off, you're acting, like, you're doing it. Oh, excuse me. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. There's usually a lot of more burps in That's this a, podcast, yeah. but I've been but holding back. But it's Hispanical back. heritage. Yeah, it's Hispanic. Hispanic. <laughs> trying to I can't disappoint my people. Yeah. So what kind of movie do you want? Like, what's your dream movie to make? Do you have, like, this this whole all-holy yeah. project? Like, what's your... I can't, I can't talk about it. Okay. Damn. So, um, it's like that, huh? He told us not whoa, to whoa. talk about it. That's yeah. a compliment. <laughs> That's a compliment, because this is going to blow up. You guys are going to be big. <laughs> That's a compliment. Appreciate that, man. If I didn't think anyone would see this, should I be like, yeah, these are all my ideas. Here you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's respect to you guys. But like, I, we have a couple movies that are already in post-production. Nice. So we have a movie called Mob Squad, okay. and it's a, a superhero film that we made like locally with like, it's like over 90 mm-hmm. actors, like professional and like amateur, like friends that were like college nice. friends. Nice. So it's like a huge project. And then we went to England and we did um, Blood Rose, which was uh, my partner Juan's script. So I wrote the script for Mob Squad, directed that, and he wrote the script for Blood Rose. It's a vampire film. Nice. And um, we've been out to England twice now because we COVID to kind of cut shit short. So we had to leave and then we had to come back out. We went out gotcha. in um, June nice. uh, just recently. So yeah, that was that was the film. I played a vampire in that shit. And that was I saw dope. that on your That's social right. media, dude. Yeah, that shit was dope, man. Like it's it's so crazy being American going places where like people don't really know like how they act. So like mm. you're really like kind of like an ambassador for your country at all times. And it's like, damn, I was trying so hard to not be an ignorant American the whole time. But I was like, <laughs> Bro, you gave me all this chicken and no sauce. He's like, yeah. sauce is two fifty. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> my bad, like, my bad, re- my bad. Like, we are privileged as <laughs> fucking America, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I love all my UK people. You know, I love y'all, bro. Your food is trash. I told them every <laughs> night. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, That's I'm not fine. spilling no beans. This is no betrayal right now. Yeah. They've, I've told them that. to their face. I said, bro, this is trash. They know, but it's all healthy though, because Gordon Ramsay, that guy, he like. Did a lot of stuff out there. He makes all the food Mm. for England. I don't know if you knew that. He's like the cafeteria. A lot. Yeah. (laughs) Gordon Ramsay. Shit. (laughs) Goes around throwing (laughs) idiots. Idiots. Sandwiches sandwiches the best. I love that line, dude. And it's all like more expensive too. Yeah. You know, because it's their currency is worth more. So it's like I spent twenty dollars. It's like only like ten pounds. Yeah. I love a vampire movie. Ever seen Thirty Days of Night? Those vampires were so good. Heard about dude. that though. Ah, oh, those vampires Fuck. were awesome. I, think I have seen it, but I just what's can't. it about, dude? Well, just they go to Alaska for thirty days of night, dude, and that's when the vampires come. You don't out. know what a vampire is, dude? Yeah, yeah. Come on. But it was just shot in Alaska, and just they were so creepy. Just yeah. the way that they they I did. Think I remember what you're talking about. Because I, I remember what you're talking about. And then there's this one line I remember. Like I think it was like one of the most like terrifying lines is like this lady's about to die because she's around all the vampires and they're about to kill her and she's like crying and like praying to God and like this line always stuck with me and she's just like, oh God, God. And he's like just looks at her before he kills. Just there is no God and just like that's like the yeah. most brutal last line to say. Yeah, so I mean, it's like that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, dude. Fucked. Yeah. Those those types of scenes are like what I want to write. Like I want to write these like horror. Scenes. Horror, man, like, my biggest Hell thing yeah. is, like, I was a huge superhero nerd. Okay. Right? So, like, when we first started the business, we wanted to make money, and we knew we were going to do a lot of things that weren't really what we wanted to do, but what we had to do. Mm-hmm. But in the back of our minds, I was like, hey, man, like, you're my brother at, before this. We were friends before the business. So I told him, I was like, what do you want to do? What's the project you want to put our resources to for the first two years, three years? And then I have my idea. His was a film about vampires out in England. Mine was a film just here locally about superheroes. And that was like what pushed us for the whole thing. So that was really like like a superhero movie is like my dream thing, bro. So I'm okay. I've already made it. Obviously, it's not as big a budget as what I could probably receive now if I was to pitch that to somebody. How, how did you manage that where you're at now? How do you manage a, a project with ninety actors and stuff? Like that's pretty it's, wild, dude. Um yeah. we were shooting for a year and a half. Every month we had about seven shoot dates. Okay. So that's way more than you're supposed to have <laughs> because everyone, you know, I can't pay most of these people, you know? So obviously they're, mm-hmm. I'm internally grateful for these people. And, um, obviously the main cast, like when we do get the film funded and we do some other stuff, you know, get a deal, whatever they know they're going to get paid for sure. Um, but when it comes to like doing all like the extra stuff, like the casting and like the location scouting, it was really, like I said, like me being from Cedar Rapids and Juan also being from Co college, like, he was there for like four or five years, so we kind of knew a lot of people. Mm. It's a small mm. city mm. Um, compared nice. to like Phoenix. It's only like um like two hundred thousand people. Wow, mm. Phoenix is what like a million? Yeah, I think like I don't even know. Like documented, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. 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 There's like seven million people here. Hispanic oh, yeah, month, yeah. it went up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hispanic population increased by a thousand. Cockroaches, dude. Do that on my month, dude. 
You're supposed to talk good about us this month. I oh, love I Selena, though. I know. That's what I do comedy. So uh, to celebrate the month, I brought it up at the uh, beginning. I'm celebrating yeah. and I'm making fun of it a little all right, bit. dude. All right. Yeah, yeah he, he's the one who knew it, it was kind of funny that it's only half a month. You didn't even know. I didn't even, I didn't even know it was a month. Yeah. That's yeah. terrible. I'm bringing awareness to it so that I can <laughs> shit on it too, right? Yeah. Why? Because you fucking feel guilty, dude. That's why you're I don't feel awareness. any guilt yeah. at all. He's using comedy. Uh, we, get, we get to the real issue yeah, here. There's yeah. no guilt at all, dude. <laughs> Oh, Christopher I Columbus blew on with your voice there a little bit when you said that. I love Mexicans. No, yeah. This guy celebrates Christopher Columbus Day over here. Yeah. yeah every oh, single yeah. day. He got us here, right? King <laughs> Chris Did he? This yeah, fucking no. guy. Depends who you ask, I guess. <laughs> but he's just like, you know, it's crazy. I think about history all the time, and I'm just Dude, like, we really don't know what so, the fuck it's happened. So, like, no, it's the conquerors. <laughs> like, they write the story. Yeah. And I re- didn't realize until a couple of years ago, I was like, all my history that I know was written by some <laughs> fucking piece of shit that just told their side of the story. Yes. Yeah. Like, like if there's not George science Washington, in some way backing something up like George you know Washington's like, wooden teeth so, like I, I believe that for so long. Like, I thought that, he literally had like, wooden teeth. Me too. Just, like, and then they're like those were slave teeth. And I was like oh that makes a lot more sense. You wouldn't have fucking just wood in your mouth. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, what? yeah. Like what was that? They were just, we wouldn't want these kids to know that we like had slaves. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? You're just yeah. like what's the intention behind hiding that? Right. It's true. Because you hit it from the little children where, where you're like, we got to tell them it's bad to lie, so we have to tell them about George Washington. Yeah. But we don't really want them to know about slaves yet, so let's tell them it's made out of wood. Yes. Yeah. But then we're never going to correct it at <laughs> any cr- point. Yeah. The rest of the thing. Whoops. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah totally were. an accident. I'm glad I was from the generation that like started like to master the internet. Like we yeah. were the first ones that were like using yeah. dial up to play like like Star Wars yeah. online and shit. Like, <laughs> like my brother's age, so twenty six. Yeah, like yeah. so. It's like we saw that shit. Like while I was being taught in school, we'd literally be on our phones. Like that's not true. Look. Yeah. <laughs> oh like, yeah. You yeah. know, like we'd be the first generation. I remember like iPod touches and like the Razor phone. Like we had all these like fucking tech. Mm. It was like the first year that I remember. Like when I was sixth grade, it was like the first year that teach. I remember teachers talking about it. Like we've never had this many kids with cell phones. We've never had this many kids like mm. doing things online. Like what yeah. YouTube? Huh. What? You're a YouTuber? How old are you? That's like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Chocolate Rain and shit. Like all those viral YouTube. Oh, yeah. videos. Like that was my shit, bro. Like I I taught myself how to play guitar off YouTube. You yeah. know, like I'm a graduate of YouTube University, bro. Right. I still use it. I use it today, like when we're doing Same. effects on music videos, or mm-hmm. if I'm like, damn, maybe I need to get some new marketing tips. Maybe I think I got it figured out, but maybe this other YouTuber figured something else out. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this shit. Like podcasts, too. That's why I'm a huge fan of podcasts. Yeah. Like it's free game. They're the I could best. be ironing, I could be fucking yeah. doing some other shit, and I could just be cleaning or whatever. And then I hear something, I'm like, oh, that's dope. I yeah. That, you know? yeah. And then, I love those yeah. moments in a podcast. Like sometimes you just like go sit through some, and like, God, I'm getting a little bored of them. But then there's those little moments sometimes that yeah. something just like sticks with you. And it can be like a silly one or it could be a serious one. But yep. like it, you never know that little thing that you need to hear or know that can kind of like exactly turn something on, a little yeah. light in your brain that you needed to know. Well, yeah. And then yeah. that travels on to like being like, what's your take from that and then like yeah. it, you grow like my last yeah. one it was like never if it's something they're not going to worry about in five months don't give it five minutes of your time and just like that it's particular, good in that particular day i was like i needed to hear that because yeah. i feel like i'm stressing about so much shit in my life then in five yeah. months it's not even anything me relevant and, me, and my, my, li- me and my business partner want to have an expression it's just life is gonna life mm. so anytime yeah. something happens that we knew is out of our control if it's something that we could have prevented then we got to check ourselves about like, ayo because we've lost the camera bag before, like mm. just being like yeah. at a wedding and we're just so eager to leave. We just fucking forgot our batteries. Charging Too high. The wall. You know, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. after you Piece finish, the bride and groom want to drink with you. So you're just like, fuck, yeah. like, where's the camera lens? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, leaving shit. So when it's those types of things, check yourself. But when it's like stuff like your car breaks down or like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. fucking your alarm didn't go off. Like honest, like truthfully, like all the stuff like, like, bro, don't beat yourself about shit that you literally are not going to worry about in 30 seconds from now. Like that, 30 minutes from now is not going to be a problem. Like, that, was a lesson five I, months, like, that was a lesson I feel like I learned too late in life. Like when, like things with your car and shit that in- inevitably happen. I, I laugh when, it, and when I, shit happens. Me, like I've that. started doing I'm that. I'm like, ha ha! Or like, I love to, like uh, if I hit, call somebody. <laughs> I hit my elbow or so you do those kind of things rather than going, fuck, I go like, oh, that felt good. Like just, Ch- change yeah. flip it yeah yeah like and it does it's yeah. weird because it does trick your brain in a strange yeah. way yeah. if you mm-hmm. laugh about a flat tire rather than obsessing about it and like falling down this yeah. l- spiraling loop which yeah. i did do months ago mm-hmm. like why is everything fucking happened to me it's like it's, it's all me yeah. Yeah. yeah you're like bro go up the road like one block and like you'll find someone that has a worse yeah, yeah. everything Look happens to everybody window, like, exactly it's just like, life yeah. is life or homie life doesn't even life is gonna life yeah, yeah. Life's yeah. Gonna. happiness is about the moments in between it's yeah. not a destination it's not a place that you just 
one day I'll be at this place and it's paradise and nothing else will happen. I was it's lied like, about that for nah. sure through Disney. Disney yeah. lied to me about that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> because they really made it seem <laughs> like I would be kind of smooth. Like it was going to be okay. I'd be I thought there was a fucking carpet right that would like take me <laughs> yeah. to my dream girl. Or yeah. like there was like a, a vine I could like slide down like Tarzan. I could literally oh, yeah. with monkeys. I thought the craziest shit because of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah. Disney pressure, Crazy. dude? Disney pressure, dude. Disney pressure. Yeah. They pressured we the talked shit about this dude. before, yeah. Disney pressure. It's yeah. where the, uh, they were like culture setting for us, man. They were just mm. like, here it is. Yeah. This is all you got to do. And then like 9-11 happened. And yeah, happily, happily, like, happily, happily ever. There is no happily ever after. It's like yeah. all constant work to like to yeah, finally. Yeah. There's no end destination. Yeah. 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 Never. And at any time, anything can come along and just completely decimate your society. Yeah. Yeah. And the worst, so you know, the worst things happen when you're older. Right, like to so think that to think that you're gonna get older, and then eventually there's gonna be this. It's like no, once you get older, your friends get older. Things happen, mm. right? You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like you have, you know, up. like there's lots of things that happen with that. Like you don't, you can't move around as much. You got grandchildren, so now you got to be more homebody. Like yeah. not even like mortality, just like stuff. You can't, you don't have disposable free time like you did. So when you're yeah. young, to sit there and like, oh, my problems now. It's like, bro, your problems now are not gonna be shit compared to your problems when you're seven. Oh yeah, and and you're not so gonna have the hard. energy to solve them. Yeah. And you're not gonna are, have the energy like that. You're gonna have to people up help. People are gonna have to help you <laughs> solve. Problems. And I feel like kids are obsessing over that kind of thing right now yeah. rather than creating and using their time to like, mm -hmm. I feel like, I mean, there are young creative people and like that, things like that are happening, but I yeah. feel like it's kind of, I mean, I know it's it's a dying breed of things like Among Us, like people yeah. and are outside of our little circle because we're all in our thirties. Like, what are you doing? A podcast? Like, nobody's yeah. doing that. Nobody's like still playing music. Playing. It's yeah. like I want. I'm trying to do something with my life that's like different yeah. than just like sitting yeah. sitting back down and just saying, "All right, here we go. It's over." Like, and just and letting yeah. life go on. Like, I'm trying. Yeah. I want to put something out. But like, that's like like entrepreneur, like that social era we're in, like the pressure to like, well, fuck, he's doing it, she's doing mm -hmm. it, fuck, I'm. I, I went to school it. with that yeah. fucking guy. He's yeah. not fucking yeah. special. Like, you know, or like, it's like a competition. That's but it's like, a sub, it. like, not everybody's like that. But like, mm -hmm. some people will see it as like, well, if you can do it, I can do it. And that's a good mentality. Just don't spite somebody. It's a healthy right. competition. Don't, yeah. Like, yeah. you're like, okay, I'm confident that I'm as funny as this guy. Just so I'm going to try comedy. Because isn't that what you'd get into comedy for? Right. There don't you look at a comedian that. and be like, wow, he's funny as fuck. And then you make a joke and you're like, well, maybe I'm funny as fuck. Yeah. And then that's why you do it. You don't do it like, I'm going to be the worst. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna be the worst comic ever. When I'm not gonna be as good as Chappelle. But I'll try. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. no, like you go in like I'm gonna fucking try. That's true, yeah. Have you gone to an open mic? I've gone to a bunch. Uh, it's not as not as a um, not as a performer. Yeah, like for like comedy, but like I've been to a bunch of open mic nights for like music and stuff. Okay. I actually did one in England. It was really dope. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's badass. They really like like American like hip hop and like stuff yeah. like that. And I do like more like R and B type stuff. So mm -hmm. like R and B pop. So they're like super into that kind of stuff because really their hip hop is like more like grime. Like right. that, like you know, like Pop Smoke kind of has those like grime beats mm -hmm. behind his stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like that's like where he got that from, like that UK. So they're all trying to soak up the game from America, like at all times. They're trying to soak up the fashion yeah. game. They're trying to soak up cultural like, appropriation. Right. Dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shit. I agree, but but it's like <laughs> America has all the cultures though. So it's like yeah. that's true. We're yeah. Different. Yeah. it's supposed to be a melting pot. We're supposed to yeah. be celebrating. Right. Well, I always say It'd I always say there's, there's probably at least one person from every place in the world. At least one in America. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the smallest island in Africa. There's at least one of those people that made their way to America. At yeah. Some point. Like, there's probably a ton of countries that have never had Americans, though. Right. You know, right. there's probably a ton of countries that have never had like Italians visit. Like, yeah. but America's keep like, them out. That you don't want the Italians <laughs> everywhere, dude. They're the worst. That's a bad breed, dude. Oh. I love their food. What do you mean? Their food's great. The people we are terrible, them, man. though. We gotta keep. I don't know. <laughs> All right, genocide happens. Yeah. Three races. Gotta keep them. Go. <laughs> um. Uh, Let me start. Okay. Blacks. Uh, oh, that's, that's what I was going to say. So Slightly you go. bias? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. no. Whites. Because you're still the majority. I respect it. Yeah, dude. We Mex all know that the Indians Mexicans. are going to go, dude. Yeah. Mexicans. We're all saved. So I guess end Asian yeah. hate, too. <laughs> Look, we're we're sorry, there's sorry, enough anime. Place. I can were, dig back into the yeah. crates. There's a lot of anime I haven't seen yet. <laughs> and they're um, fourth place. So they can't be too upset that they didn't make the list. So yeah. we're not that Oh, bad. shit. Do you know what I mean? Who inspires you, like, hip-hop-wise? Ooh, hip hop wise, I'd say, I mean, honestly, it's like the era I came in was like Snoop Dogg, Pharrell, Drake, mm -hmm. Kid Cudi. Okay. Wiz, Wiz, huge inspiration. Like, cause he was like the first artist I ever saw, like come to Iowa. Cause mm -hmm. we don't get a lot of big acts, bro. Like I right. think Drake's been to Iowa like once in the last 10 years. Like he does not come. And if he does, he comes to the biggest city and is there for like 45 minutes and then he gets on the plane. He's, yeah. he's not even in a hotel. So you this know place sucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't fucking blame him, man. That's kind of why I don't go to concerts anymore in my yeah. own hometown. Because mm. 
I know I'm getting a lackluster show, and I don't. Like, That's I know, shitty though for the performance. They shouldn't be no, doing that. No, it is. That. You know what? You know? Though I respect it because I'm, I'm gonna be honest. On the road is rough. Yeah. I've been on tour before, so I know what it's like to understand that. Fuck, bro, we went crazy in Pittsburgh. Uh, Boston, and now we we don't have yeah. the lights for this. Or we now we don't do Iowa, bro. Iowa, yeah, yeah, Iowa. Like, yeah, they're corn it's, it's a flyover state, bro. Like I, re- I I respect the hustle. Like I understand it. Like and we also what's crazy is that we still pay more than all the bigger cities. Why are they a flyover? We know state? we don't hide. Right. Drake made a bigger bag in Des Moines, <laughs> Iowa than he made in L. A. Well, because in L. A. Uh-huh. They're like, well, 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 Drake. I mean, yeah, you're Drake, but we could have Young Thug come too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they have more have, options. Yeah, but it's like I was like Drake. Yeah, bro. Put all of the corn on a scale <laughs> and sell it all. We need this motherfucker to come. He said he'll do a ten minute set. God, yeah. we'll put him ten more million for five seconds there we more. Go. Like, like you know, what I'm saying it's just like I respect it because I'm like I got to see a lot of artists. Like MGK was a was a big touring artist in like mm. Iowa, so like that's a good mm. inspiration too. Like his, I think I still think MGK is one of the best performers ever of all time. Yeah, I think he's he's amazing. Um, because I'm big. I can see him being a big rock, uh, big into performer. punk rock too. I right. like his transition, and, yeah. and I respect anybody who can be an outsider in something and still make a path. Yeah. Like, I got to respect that. Like, and, and no matter what medium it is, you know, someone told this guy, like, he'd never cook again, but then he cooks and he does it. I'm like, I respect that because niggas told you he wasn't going to do that shit. Yeah. So I respect your adversity, like, the, the the way you tackle that shit. So anybody who, like, you know, is white in hip hop, they deal with a lot of scrutiny. Like, we saw Macklemore win Grammys and he's still not respected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just being real. Like, as far as, like, someone's, like, best rappers ever, like, you could name people that don't even have Grammys before you named him who has two Grammys. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's Mac Miller, dude, white rapper. Oh my God, man. <laughs> yeah. He's one that I thought like, three years. Yeah. What has it been? It's been Some, yeah, that one was 2019, I think. Yeah. He was end of 2018. His album came out in 2019 though. Yeah. Swimming. Swimming. Yeah. His best album ever. Dude, for sure. He wishes well, he was swimming, yeah. dude. He is bro. In heaven. In, heaven. in oblivion. <laughs> in oblivion. <laughs> young, young, Still dude. Like, that's why I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm so glad I never got into those types of drugs. Like, oh, me honest. too. I'm glad I love psychedelics. Like you can't even trust stuff anymore. I know like, the, all the chemicals. It's like eat the natural stuff. That, like we when were, you see the famous people who are rich getting bad shit. Like who the fuck am I? Like yeah, I'm right. gonna start yeah, buying yeah, coke. Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you know Think what I'm saying. How like, many cuts it's gone through like, by the time it gets to somebody like that? I respect yeah. the habit. Like if you have that, that's what you need. Like it's still a coffee's a drug. Weeds a you yeah. know weeds a enhancing. Like you know alcohol is no, the worst drug ever. Alcohol's killed more people than any drug in the planet. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it, I don't it, judge, but like if you're gonna sacrifice parts of your life and start hurting people you love because of the drug, <laughs> now that's a different situation. Might be a problem. Now you got a problem, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And if so. that's part of the, like, if that's a huge part of the risk, yeah. Why are we going to include like? There's a my, lot of my other rule drugs is, that you can do that are that that risk is way lower. You know. Yeah. My rule is I don't do a drug that I'll end up looking like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I, like I don't. That. I won't yeah. put anything in my body that if I did it for a year, I would look like people who do it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If I smoke weed, I'm look the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I d- drink, relatively the same. Mm. I usually just stay with wine and weed. That's like my thing. Gotcha. Yeah. But I've done coke. Your wine done guy it huh? once. I gummed it <laughs> at a yeah. GEZ concert. Oh yeah, <laughs> nice. I was like, hell, gangster dude, bro, yeah. super impre- impressionable. <laughs> I was like, I'm a rapper. It was like my first year. I was like, I'm a rapper now. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna see GEZ backstage. I'm gonna give him my mixtape, and God. we're gonna make a song. I'm gonna bring my laptop. The ideas that cocaine give you, bro. The ideas that cocaine give you, just like yeah, you become a real young, young and creative, dude. Like you, like (laughs) honestly, honestly, my mouth was just numb. I didn't. I don't think I experienced Uh, cocaine. It's stupid because I was still very like annoyed by everything that was happening. And I was like, I don't think this is coke. (laughs) I was like, stop. Stop yeah, stepping on yeah, my yeah, shoe. Yeah. No, you become like, a yeah. dick. <laughs> Think about coke heads. They're all kind of dicks a little that's bit. True, like, that's true. Uh, nobody's my ever tried to sell though. me coke. I was like just, nah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not there. I was like, I don't want to do this. You again. understood yeah. the, the weekend song. I can't That was my before face. the weekend song. So when, he, when that shit yeah. dropped, I was like, oh. That's what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Lyrics hit different. That won a Nickelodeon Choice Awards. I think that's pretty cool too. That's ridiculous. Did it really? Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> that Disney pressure, dude. He's got that little orange blimp dude somewhere in his house, dude. Hell that's yeah, that's dude. sick. Literally, like snorting lines. Yeah, off. Probably, <laughs> probably, dude. Probably. Oh my God. That's got to feel crazy. Did he get plastic surgery, or was that just like a, an act that he was taking? That was a prosthetic. So he actually yeah, yeah, yeah. did. Okay. Yeah, because actually, when that dropped, we were actually doing the uh, vampire prosthetics, or we were like oh. stuff for us. We were like, oh yeah, like we could identify that shit early. I was like, the enhanced like the cheekbones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very like prosthetic standard to like accentuate all the like, cause it's like the so only it's all makeup. Your face that you can attach it to. Cause gotcha. the face is relatively flat for the most part, except for the contour of your, like your, you know, your brow and your cheekbones. So really that's where you have to attach all the prosthetics. But it's just like Lil Nas's boobs, like dude. They were fake. 
in his uh, uh, stomach that he did. Oh yeah, yeah the, the pregnant the belly, pregnant stomach. Yeah, yeah. A little Nas baby. Did that be awesome? <laughs> it looked like it reminded me of like the uh, the Alien vs Predator. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his stomach was like super low and like out like this. It looked like something was like trying to crawl out. That's because like, it was a girl, dude. Oh, how dare you assume that? Because if it hangs low, it's a oh. girl, and if it's up high, it's a boy. Dude. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. My mom was really high when she had me. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, I don't know why you hit the button, dude. Yeah, that, we wasn't all, a, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> we could have all guessed that pet shop boy. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, man. Yeah. But yeah, bro, we've been working on a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to go to Miami soon, and we're going to start shooting this crime TV show. So nice. that's going to be a pretty big thing. Um, and then we have the movies coming out too as well, like Blood Rose, Vampire Film, shot in England, and then Mob Squad, which was a film shot in Iowa. But 90 Actors, like I said, is going to be fire. And then my album mm -hmm. is also debuting in October. So Nice. Big things in October, October huh? So much stuff, man. I'm trying to come back here. Are both movies? I was going to ask. Some stuff, do if some you're, more stuff with you guys. How long yeah. are you out here for right now? Just I'm only here till the 18th. I'm only here for a couple more days and stuff. But yeah. um, definitely want to come back out. I want you guys to meet Juan. Yeah, so yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. maybe we can even have you guys come out there for the fucking Halloween party. That would be sweet. That'd be wild. Yeah, guys buy, pay what? for your guys' tickets or some shit. So the movie, the come movies come out in October. Um, no, uh, my album, album comes out in October. Out. Oh, okay. we're, we're constantly. Or can you say? It yeah, I can you? say it's called OK for now. That's okay, like, uh, it's OK, and then the uh, number for four, and then now, and it's oh, like a, it's a combination of like all the shit I've made in the last like four years mm -hmm. while we've been doing the business, kind of like putting my stuff on the back burner, and it's like night drive music, like poppy. Super feely, like you know, what I'm saying, vibey, like yeah, that's yeah. like I want you to listen to self produced. Um, a couple tracks. I have okay. a couple parts where I play guitar and uh, I have a synth piano, and then my friend Quentin did a saxophone solo. But for the most part, it's just a whole bunch of random producers I've met, like either online, Instagram, YouTube. Okay, like nice. I'm excited so to check that out. Project. I love that shit, dude. Me yeah, too. man, I'd love to. Like, if you guys want to do some shit on air, we could talk about it. But if I, you guys want to yeah. listen to it in general, like, I'd love to play you guys a song I just made. It's yeah, it's probably my favorite song that I've made for the album. Yeah. We can do yeah, we can do that. We can finish we can finish the show that way. We're yeah, it's about it. that time. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Pedro, any last words about uh, heritage bunch you wanna throw them before we close this one out, dude? Oh, no last words, man. I just want people Give out there to be aware, you know. Oh no. Y'all made me heritage month. Oh. <laughs> Y'all already made me rap today, dude. Pedro. I can't do a, a poem right now. <laughs> Some like uh Spoken word. Can we just? Can we just? The sun, <laughs> uh, the moon. <laughs> I don't know. You take it from Keep there. Keep going, dog. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. The sun and the moon. The man that's bald and looks like he combs with a broom. Oh. Hey, he's the pet store guy. He's got iguanas and birds. He's the pet store guy. He's got He'll iguanas and birds. birds. He's the pet store oh, guy. He's, he's got, got iguanas, iguanas and birds. <laughs> What's your boy's got? I didn't he want to play my song like now. That's curse. way better than my song. <laughs> I didn't want to play my shit now. That's way better than my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's Here hear it, But yeah, this song's called Breakdown. Oh, and this yeah. is on the new and album. Is yes. it by Riley Mobs or do you have a Riley Mobs? Yes, that's my artist name, Riley Mobs. You guys can follow me at Riley Mobs. M O B Z. I'm gonna roll some more weed. I like to smoke and listen to my music. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I don't, so I'm not crucial on yeah. it because I'm like a fucking. Yeah. Oh, 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 me don't feel the beat. You don't know why sometimes you're feeling low. You tell them everything they need to know But nothing ever changes, you still here alone Sometimes you feel it, then the feeling's gone You ain't been outside since many weeks ago Compare yourselves to strangers you don't even know When everybody looks at me scrolling through a phone But everybody's lost But it's okay to break down Just know it's never something to escape now you had it all along, so why's your face down? You gotta pick it up to see the way out. But it's okay to break down. Just know it's never something to escape now. You had it all along, so why's your face down? You gotta pick it up to see the way out. Oh, 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 me, oh, yeah. Baby, it's your life, won't you live it up? The world keeps spinning, it looks better with you in it, yeah. I wouldn't lie, I think you was born to fly That's the lowest you been down So that means you wanna rise, but it 
takes time, yeah, it takes time. Got the same routine, got a brand new drive, got the same old whip, still whipping. That's fine. You just gotta stay on the go. But it's okay to break down. Just know it's never something to escape now. You had it all along, so why's your face down? You gotta pick it up to see the way out. But it's okay to break down. It's never something to escape now You had it all along, so why's your face down? You gotta pick it up to see the way out I said you don't gotta be what they want Just gotta be what you wanna be It's okay to break down Just know it's never something to escape now You had it all along, so why's your face down? You gotta pick it up to see the way out But it's okay to break down Just know it's never something to escape now You had it all along, so why's your face down? to perform that one man yeah i've never performed that That's song dope. hell yeah Thanks, i dig man. it the whole time um i was thinking about her watching us just jam out <laughs> with <laughs> I, I was thinking that same it. thing no yeah. audio yeah. Like, <laughs> i was thinking the same thing i'm like it's, now it's at least we're on beat it. like yeah. i was just like, trying to be on beat so maybe she could like visualize it yeah, yeah, yeah. hell yeah bro i love some of the choices you made in there like hitting that low register line at the end yeah like i'm i'm when, when you ask me about music inspirations like i said the rappers but i should say like phil collins hmm. like Ooh, the 1975 huh. on yeah. that oh yeah um fucking like bro like super r&b thugged out like fucking voice to man bone thugs and harmony <laughs> hell yeah like, I was a on a even Bone Akon, kick bro. last month. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm Akon's a sucker dope. for all that yeah, 2000 R&B him? shit. Like, what did you say? So. Whatever happened to him? He's like, doing very well right now. Is he, he owns a label, yeah. He's doing uh, really well. He's just not really on the artist side. No gotcha. More. That's, the, that's the route, right? Yeah. Well, because hip-hop is a young man's game. Yep. So you really don't see too many people that are 50 plus that are touring unless they're legacy acts. Mm -hmm. A legacy act is someone like Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent. Someone yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to make new music. You can tour right. your old catalog for the rest of your life. You don't have to make a new song. So, yeah. you know, there's not a lot of legacy acts. It's even harder to become one because we don't have that separation from, there's no true celebrities anymore. Right, right. Everyone's Just looking for new, new, Everyone's new. touchable. Want that new, 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 new you know new, what I'm saying? And there's yeah. no way to approach anybody broadly now. Like, nah. every, everything is People niche, don't faint so. at shows like that. I mean, people still faint, but, like, the way people are fainting for Michael Jackson is because they didn't, they never saw him. They're children. You never would see him. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> Look at this guy. He's good. I was like, oh, should I use him as an example? <laughs> I know, but his music's undeniable, and we still yeah. can't stop. It's I mean, not yeah, undeniable. Yeah, and so are his advances, Even, like, early, like, Maroon 5, like, back. Yeah. When, like the punk rock like that was like the last like when cds were still happening yeah like when you're still going to limewire to rip shit yeah mm -hmm. right. listen to shit like that was like the era where like, celebrities it. were celebrities yeah like, i don't see these kids putting posters of artists on their walls no more right like, right but there was you know only one like, place that we got um our like there was only one source of culture radio back then was like the tv MTV, and the radio and everything it was yeah. a whole blanket you know right so now everybody can go it's anywhere. a blessing and a curse i feel because it's like mm -hmm. well now i have an in like you guys for example like back in the 70s, I wouldn't, a guy in Iowa wouldn't been able to connect to a podcast. Yeah. We would have been like, like ham radio How? guys, you know? Yeah, yeah. and I would have had to like email you on like dial up and like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. you would have been, been like, real fuck, we didn't have our computer limbaugh. hooked up, bro, yeah. sorry. Yeah. You know, We're just sending you laser discs and shit. Like, yeah. check out our conversation we had, dude. Yeah. It's, it's like, like why? I'm, ri I'm riding a Greyhound. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like different shit. Like, hey, so I don't have a phone, so you guys are going to be where you said you're going to be, right? The big oak tree. Yeah, yeah. That's funny too. I have an idea about that. It's like, People will stop trusting once they can make excuses and like text someone. The ability to be like, "Oh shit, bro, um, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my lizard just died, bro. Um, I got a shout uh, out, dude. We got the funeral. <laughs> yeah. I can't make dinner, bro. Like back in the day, my like wife you didn't show up somewhere. Dude. My mom's telling me what it is. If you didn't show up somewhere, people were like worried. Oh yeah, like, if you yeah. were like, oh yeah, five. I'll meet you at the oak tree. Yeah, if your John mom wasn't at the oak tree. Yeah. They're like, oh, bro. John, yeah. he was, it's five oh five. He's dead. He was supposed to be here. The street lights are <laughs> so out. So there's like much more trust, and yeah. I feel like people don't have that no more. No, sometimes man, I'd be no, like no. that. 
Because I'm very punctual. It feels more innocent. Except for today, honestly. And we're like a we're a surveillance <laughs> culture, bro. Like, if oh yeah, the government encourages us to spy on each other constantly now. Dude, it's yeah. like a cultural we're all thing voyeurs, to fucking man. yeah. yeah. We all just want to. We're literally pointing cameras at ourselves, having a conversation. <laughs> right now. Look, man, I, I tell I tell everyone, man, I want to live three lives. I want to live this first life. You know, I have to kind of like you know I'm young, so I got to try to make my money. Got to try to do my thing while I have the energy to. Then my second life, you know, when I'm like 40, whatever, 40, 50, 60, I'm going to be like, all right, let me give back. Let me build up mm-hmm. foundations. Let me give back to other creators. That's let me what do whatever I can right do. Now. And in my third life, bro, I'm fucking breaking these phones. I'm fucking getting the fuck out of yeah. this shit. And I'm going to like Japan. I'm have a goat farm. Mm-hmm. And like, oh, yeah. you can see me like one one day out of the year. If you want to put a, like a phone in a, in, a, <laughs> in, a, in a thing and be blindfolded yeah. and w- rolled up to my volcano. Yeah, dude. And, and, and then you can like chill with me and we'll have the best fucking time right. you've ever had in your life. But it's not going to be with phones. And it's yeah. not going to be Snapchat. It's going to be with ghosts, it's, dude. Somebody brings bro. them a letter because... Bro, I'm, ta- I'm talking about a utopia now. I'm not yeah. talking like... I'm gonna talk, I, I plan on being very successful. I want I want to have like a fucking water slide in my kitchen. Hell yeah. Like I want to do... It's stuff. not very practical I, though. It's <laughs> not, but, but see, I love water though. Oh, okay. So I would swim to my living room. All right, you sold me. You sold me. Right? Yeah, okay. It would be like a guest house for people <laughs> that want to be normal and shit. Like, but no, nah, if you want to come over here, there's a lazy river that goes through my living room yeah. and you can oh, have yeah. a bacon and egg sandwich on the way. Come oh, on yeah. now. Okay, so Sana, toss me a beer. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. fucking floating down that No, nah, the river, beers dude. would be underwater in a cooler. Oh, damn. So you'd swim underwater, open it. It'd be pressurized. So the you got this all mapped come out. out bro, come on. Man. Dude, the Riley Mobs. I worked at a pool plan. company, man, yeah. for like a year and a half, and I was He's just like, like I can put a fuck. I can put a fridge like, in there. I was like, this motherfucker has a lazy river in his bedroom. Damn. Motherfucker had an infinity pool in his living room too. I was like, yeah, wealth. Yeah, need it. You're like, that's where I'm going. I'm not material, but it's it's about the experience. Like, I would rather spend money on like travel and like, you know, I, I would like to open up a Mexican restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Like for like Juan's family or do some shit in the community. Like do stuff like that. Like that's what I want to do. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to sit here and just be like spending money on frivolous shit. Like yeah. I'm not a car guy. I'm not a shoe guy. I'm not a you know. I'm not any of that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Nice. Well, I just want to. Yeah. You're a hustler, dude. I like Always, it, dude. And dude. We're at the end here, man. Thank you so yeah. much for coming on. Of course, really appreciate it. Thanks for reaching you out. Guys were like, as was... weird as I anticipated, but it was fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was awesome. Glad you guys to are have awesome. you, man. Thanks so much, Thanks, man. man. And Peace you want to do any plugs at the end? Like plug a couple things. Oh yeah. Right now? Um, just follow Young Creators, man. We're currently right now we're looking for a bunch of um different artists uh to have at the Halloween show. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if this will come out pretty soon. So, um. October 29th We're looking for artists To perform in Cedar Rapids If you're dope Send me your shit mm-hmm. um, Contact Young Creatives At Gmail We'll fly you out um, Pay for your hotel and shit If you're dope If you're dope I'm yeah. not Only if you make the cut yeah. You just listen send to my shit Dope yeah, shit yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like if you ain't making shit Like that or better yeah. Don't send me no shit bro yeah. Like I'm not playing Like I want people to be I want to get I'm all for giving people Opportunities but I'm also About the cream of the crop mm-hmm. So I believe the best Should succeed yeah. Not everybody I don't do that Um Everyone who participated not gets a Bernie trophy. Sanders supporter. It's merit based. I'm really not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not an anybody supporter, bro. So Trump 2024. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I camera still yeah. like it. Oh, fuck. I'm at on. this point, at this point, at this point, I, 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 I'd, I'd, I'd listen to an interview. I, I just see what he has to say. <laughs> like, I, I'm not saying I'd vote. I wouldn't demonize anyone who wanted to. We I'd got be like, him. We I'll listen got to him. him. I'll, I'll listen to, look, I, I, I'll listen to what he has to say. No, 100%, which is what should be done, is listen to both sides. Yeah, and that's what kind of podcast we Devil's are. Devil's advocate, yep. man. Amor y paz. Y paz. Hasta luego. <laughs>